Okay. Let me make sure I actually have my sound and everything going. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, hello. Testing. Cool. We got it. I've been running. Sounds working just fine. Give it a second, um, just because I'm going to post about the stream, and then I'm also going to wait for some people to get in, if anybody. But, yeah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> kind of a late stream, but I've been trying to do stuff, be productive after work instead of just doing nothing until I stream, so. <laughs> Here we are. Alright, what, like almost 10 o'clock, 9.45? Not too late, that's not too late, I don't think so. Everybody's here. How's, any, uh, how's all your guys' uh, nights been so far? Or days been, I guess. Your, your crown is the same color as mine. What do you mean? I'm not that green. No, my blue and yellow. Hawaii just looks like. I think I need chapstick, but I don't want to get up. Pharmacy. Light weaver. Let's get started. So last where we left yeah. off, we were going through There's Doug's route. Oh, I do this every single time. Oh, I see her now. Uh, escape. Uh, I think it was this one. This last one. It has to be this one. No, if I'm not over right. Load data. I think it was this one. Yeah, because the last thing we played was Doug's route. <sighs> yeah, the beach party. I think that's where we're at. Let's do the history. Um, yeah, yeah, this is with Doug. So basically, we last time we were doing Doug's route because um, Peter broke our heart the into a million there. pieces, but you know, whatever. And we ended up getting closer to Doug, and then we even went to his drummer initiation thingy. So then after that, he walked us back to our room. And then, yeah, basically that's about it. So now it's time for you the beach die. day. No, this is the beach party, or the beach now. episode, quote unquote. <laughs> not really, though. It's just a leak. Okay. Well, technically it's a lakeside party, but beach party has a better ring to it. And after that, I get to go home and eat some good food. Woohoo. Okay, bandits, find a partner and stretch those calves. Oh, um. Pop-Tart, I forgot he kept- he keeps just saying that randomly. Slept in the woods last night, does anyone care? <laughs> Alex, no, come be my partner. <laughs> I do need to get you out of that. <laughs> it's so random. Well, everyone continues stretching. Mr. Wiley approaches. Uh, good morning, Mr. Wiley. Did you finish the ballad drill? Oh, yeah, I forgot we had to tell him that it was a penis. <laughs> or that it was the shape of a penis and not what he intended it to be. Mm. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my camera, too. Okay. I think that's okay. Okay. Uh oh, I shouldn't have asked. Whoops! Oh, hey! Didn't see you there! 
Talk about a turnaround, right? Everything's fine. Yep, let's do our best today. Let's just focus on today. Not tomorrow or the day after that, just today. One step at a time. Yeah. Is he okay? Jeez. Yep, everything's peachy. Peach-tastic. Beautiful day for band. He walks away to, the, to address the band. I think someone's a little sleep deprived. Yeah, quite clearly. Everyone finish up and get in the block. The band does as he says. Mr. Wiley hands me the gawk block and has me run morning basics. When those are over... Everyone, get set. Okie dokie smokey, enough warming up. We're going to spend the next few hours cleaning everything we already know. But before that, I want to introduce you all to a very special lady in my life. He already introduced us to Bandit, sir. Her name is Nurse Tempo. All of the upper class groan. Oh, great. Where is she? She's right here. Mr. Wiley holds up an electronic metronome and speaker. Nurse Tempo in the flesh. I'm confused. Oh, I'm Pop-Tart. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Fruit-Tart. I thought Nurse Tempo was a real person, too, my first year. I thought she might have been his girlfriend from the way he introduced her. Ew. Felicity. She is his girlfriend. He sleeps with the metronome at night. You. Oh, no. You guys are a riot. Come on now. Let's get this show on the road. Again, sleep deprived. <laughs> Did Mr. Wiley just laugh at that tasteless joke? Something is definitely up, but there's no time to question it. We've got to rehearse. Get set. We'll start with marching only and then do some playing after a brief warm-up from the top of the show. Opening set, chop chop. Lucky me, I get to be in charge of Nurse Tempo for the time being. I poke the buttons trying to remember how to work this thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ugh. No, no, no voice setting. Put it on the metronome setting. Or we're all going to have nightmares tonight. <laughs> Sorry, sir, it's fixed now. No, my models do nice stuff. Mm, nurse Turfball's loud skull piercing beats combined with the head with the heat quickly gave me a headache. Some nurse. I bet this would be easier if the other instructors had actually shown up to ban or shown up to ban. Then one of them could run this blasted metronome. Oh well, Mr. Riley can do as much work as ten texts. It's a rough rehearsal. Everyone's jumping at the at the bite bit to get out of here and party. Mr. Wally can sense the restlessness. I think it's getting to him, but he keeps trying to maintain that cheery attitude. Unfortunately, he can't keep it up for long. I won't name any names, but Pop-Tart has been stepping off on the wrong foot every single rep. Oh, poor Pop, poor Pop-Tart. Finally, it's time for the final run-through. I take my place on the podium, and that's when I notice Mr. Wally's doing something strange. We're going to do one run-through with Nurse Tempo and one without. Instead of riding up to the lift, he's still on the field, and he has a recording device in his hand. What are you waiting for? Count us off. Sorry. I do as he says, but during the run-through, I keep one eye trained on him. He wanders about the field, speaking into the device like a judge, then, if, then holding it up to see the instruments. When he passes near me, I try to hear what he says. Oh, you better- Daniel. He holds a recording device up to Sandler's bell, following him for five seconds or so, then he brings it back to his mouth. Alex. He goes on to follow Alex for a bit, the upperclassmen ignore Mr. Wiley, focusing on the show while underclassmen eye him nervously. <laughs> he got so nervous. I'm befuddled by it. I wonder why he's doing this. He never mentioned it to me before now. I saw way too many eyes looking at me during that run. Who should your eyes be on the band? Everybody says me. Exactly. You should be looking at Scarlet like she's a giant slab of meat and you're a bunch of hungry tigers. One more time. Now run it again. Don't look at me this time. Think of me as Medusa. If I catch anyone looking at me, I'll turn them to stone. <laughs> he said, when you freaking Pop-Tart. Uh, if I die again on Doug's route, I'll do Pop-Tart. <laughs> But we're not- that's not gonna happen! We're not gonna get a bad ending, we're gonna get a good ending, okay? There is not gonna be a bad ending this time. <laughs> the two run-throughs are over without a hitch. Bring it in. Alright, bring it in. Music stopped.
so in like two hours it shut up <laughs> i don't think i'm that close to getting a bad ending if i was i think i have a good amount of time still i had i went with peter for like quite a long time and then i still got a bad ending after that i still can't believe that i'm petty <laughs> everyone gathers around the podium listening to what he has to say congratulations congratulations everyone you survived your first week of band camp we all cheer. Mr. Riley tries to appear enthusiastic, but his eyes betray how tired he is. He had probably hoped to make this speech with more exuberance. Fortunately, we're not as far along as I would have liked to be. That means we'll ha we'll just have to put in twice as much work next week. But I know we can do it. Just make sure to get plenty of rest this weekend. Now enjoy your beach party and the trip home. Oh, and one more thing before I go off to nap for the rest of the day. If any section still needs to do a sectional, you better darn well be holding it right now. That's right, every section was supposed to hold at least one sectional outside of rehearsal. That's all. Hey! Wait, what about section of the day? Sorry, not until next week, Tom. It's too easy to win when there's only half a day of rehearsal. You got me there. Bam. I mean, not really. Dead hut. Have a good weekend. He sleeps tiredly off while everyone celebrates. However, there are a few sections that still have work to do. Peter. Yep. You still need to hold a section, don't you? Yep, we're having ours now. We voted on it the first day of camp. I asked the trumpets if they'd rather do sectional Thursday night after practice or today before the party, and almost everyone picked before the party. As if those were the only two choices? I'm fine with it. By the time we're done, the party will be in full swing and we won't have to help set up. So that's his game. Well, I can't stop you from having sectionals. Go get some work done. I'll leave the trumpets to their own devices. Hey, Tom. Uh huh? What about the trombones? Have you guys had held a sectional yet? Uh... <laughs> I can't, no, I guess it kind of slipped everyone's mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we don't really need to have one. We spent the entire week getting our crop together, and if we had a sectional... Uh, we just we'd wait, we just waste time and goof off like we usually do. It's all good. Yeah, we have it down. We're good. I don't know if he's trying to convince me or himself. Okay, well, if Mr. Molly finds out, it's your funeral. Great. If you happen to attend, I'm a fan of forget me nots. Bring some of those. Got it. Oh well, not my problem for the time being. It's officially the weekend. The weather's beautiful and the beach party is going to be a blast. I'll re-energize and help set everything up. Mm, I wish we could have like been able to force him. Maybe he would Mr. Riley wouldn't have been mad the next day. So 1 p.m. the party goes until 4 p.m. and then it'll be time to go home. To start, I grab some food with Susie. There are burgers, hot dogs, chips, potato salad, whoopie pies, and all sorts of other baked goods. Where did this food even come from? <laughs> I'm gonna get so fat. No, Susie, we earned this. We burned so many calories in the hot sun this week we can afford it. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> I will consume everything. And everything is delicious. This is so much better than cafeteria food. I wish I could hoard, hoard it in my room for the next week. By the time we're done eating, the party seems like it's picking up. The trumpets have arrived and are adding to the noise. Everyone seems to be unconsciously splitting back off into sections. The band is so clicky. Who should I go hang out with? Trumpets, low brass, clarinets, somewhere else. Saxophones, mellophones, percussion, someone else. Color guard flutes, someone else. Well, obviously we're gonna hang out with Doug. I think it's just percussion. Yeah, percussion. Ooh, they're by the lake! The drummers are down by the lake, standing in a circle with their hands folded. They bow to one another. Okay. Then one by one, they begin striking poses. Wait, no, they're trying to hit each other. Oh, is that that dumb ninja game? The one movement ninja game or whatever it's called? But it seems they have to take turns moving. Whatever they're doing, it looks interesting, so I decided to join them. Hey, Drumline, what's up? Hey. Oh, it is ninja! Hey, Scarlet, just playing some ninja. Genius. <laughs> they're beating each other brainless like Neanderthals. Eh. You're just salty because you were the first one out. <laughs> oh, hi, Marianne. I didn't notice the pit was hanging around. You wouldn't have, would you? What's that supposed to mean? Wanna come join us? Sure, how do you play? 
You try to eliminate your opponents by hitting their hands. We go clockwise, and on your turn, you're allowed one motion to attempt to stri strike someone's hand or move away. If someone attempts to strike you, you can evade in one motion if you're quick enough. Aaron's a boss. Or Aaron's a boss. Sounds a little confusing, but I'll give it a shot. Sweet. So first the bow. Everyone folds their hands again and bows. I do the same. Aaron goes first. He's lightning quick. No wonder he's a snare drummer. He takes out the people around him one by one. <laughs> Dang it. I really wish Aaron was an option. I'm still- I, I'm upset about that. I'm glad I'm on the other side of the circle. I use my turns to evade rather than attack. Doug surprisingly manages to survive until the end with me. I'll protect you. Aw, how sweet. <laughs> Leaping forward, Doug tries to karate chop Aaron's hand. Aaron dodges and retaliates with his own attack, smacking Doug's wrist. You're out. <laughs> nope, you're out. You skip Scarlet. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> Darn it, I forgot about her. <laughs> you look so mad. Sorry, I'm so forgettable. I guess it's just you and me, Doug. <laughs> You're dead meat. Oh my god. He's so funny. So much for no, protecting me. I finally go on the offensive, but he dodges me and instantly goes to attack. I barely manage to avoid losing my hand. Next thing I know, we're locked in some kind of strange dance, taking turns hitting and dodging. Do or die, I'm winning this thing. I'll just let Doug win, call off the game, and leave. Uh, of course I'm gonna try to win. Why would I let him win? I really want to win this. It's my first time playing, and if I win, everyone will be so impressed. I will do it for my peers' approval. That's a dumb reason, but I just want to win. Yeah. <laughs> I utter my best battle cry and lunge. Doug dodges, I miss his hand, and instead my palm smashes into his <laughs> Oh my god! No way I hit him that hard! <laughs> Doug! He recoils holding his face and he glances up. All of the drummers leap back. AIDS! 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 What do they mean AIDS? Oh my gosh, shut up you two! Doug, you're bleeding! What did I tell you? Doug touches his bloody nose, dumbfounded, then a huge grin spreads across his face. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I love Doug so much. He's so wholesome. No, it wasn't. Gosh, I'm so sorry. Let me get you some tissues. No problem. I'll just tilt my head back so it goes back in. Don't do that. It'll make you sick. Oh, I need some water. Yo. Aren't you gonna finish the game? No, let's go, Doug. I'll walk it off. No, you won't. We're getting tissues now. It's a bleeding nose. <laughs> I practically have to drag him away from the others. Blood is gushing from his nose. There's even some in the grass. I guess I don't know my own strength. I guess not. I spend the rest of the day apolo excuse me, apologizing to Doug, who has tissue stuff up both nostrils. Even if the rest of the situation wasn't very laughable, I can't help but laugh at this. Oh, I wanted to have an intimate moment with him. What, what the heck? Huh? What's so funny? Y you look ridiculous! <laughs> I'll teach you to laugh at me. He starts tickling me. Oh no. This is how the flirting starts with the tickling. Oh my god. <laughs> she did that three times in a row. Stop, stop, I can't breathe. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's how it ends. That is so dumb. I wish there was more. The party is over way too fast. I agree. But that's okay. I'm looking forward to going home and pack up some of my stuff into a backpack and head for the buses. The buses are supposed to depart at 4.30 p.m. There are five minutes to go, but no one has boarded yet. Instead, everyone is gathered outside the doors. Time to leave time. Don't be so sure about that. Hey, what's going on? Apparently both buses are inoperable. Also, the bus drivers aren't here. What? To my surprise, Mr. Wiley steps out of his first bus, twirling a key around his finger. That's strange. I can't get it started. And the other one is still out of commission, too. <laughs> Engine trouble? That's what it looks like. I tried calling for a repairman, but they've all gone home for the weekend. The bus drivers are all MIA, too. 
Really? There's not a single repairman working on the weekend? Not cool. I want to go home. No bus drivers? You don't think the zombie apocalypse happened when we were at band camp? Let's not jump to hasty conclusions, Tom. Maybe we can call our parents to come pick us up? Now, now, everybody calm yourselves. I'm going to make a few calls. You'll get to go home, but you might have to wait until tomorrow morning. I'll let your parents know. What a bummer. Everyone seems disappointed. <laughs> Yay, we get to stay at camp another night. Well, maybe not everyone. I feel like I've ever played this part so many times. I'm so glad I brought my video games. You know what? Since we're stuck here, we might as well have some more fun. Yo. Volleyball court has been empty all afternoon. Battery, let's fix that. Yeah. Maybe those pansy trumpets are up to a losing game. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, what? Is that a challenge? Not a challenge, just a friendly request for a game of volleyball. I like the sound of that. Well, I accept. Give us a half an hour to gather our forces yeah. and we'll meet you in battle. It's awesome. This is gonna be awesome. The promise of competition seems to lift everyone's spirits up off the ground. Everyone moves off until I'm the last one standing with Mr. Wiley. Seems like we've had a lot of bad luck this week. I hope things start to look up for us soon. Oh, I'm sure they will, Scarlet. It's good oh, to see Mr. Wally's trying to be more optimistic. I give him a parting wave and try to catch up with Susie. They lost one of their biggest Sucks we can't go home until tomorrow, but I'm kind of glad the party was extended. Nighttime parties are so much more fun than the daytime ones. That's true. All sorts of things can happen after the sun goes down. <laughs> exactly. I'm a little tired and I feel like I need a break for a while, but at the same time, I don't want to miss out on anything fun. What do you want to do? Uh, the whole back and forth of what do you want to do. Dang it, Susie. Well, someone has to make a decision and end this. Hmm, I've decided let's head back to the lodge and rest for a while so we have more energy for the party. Good plan. We got the middle of a water balloon fight and my clothes are still damp. I could use a shower. On the way there, we pass Pop-Tart who gives me a little wave and Clark who ignores me altogether. Yet again. Aww. Still can't believe we're stuck here for another hey, night. I miss my own dad. Me too, but our band is a fun group, so I'm sure we'll find a way to salvage this. Yeah, you're right. Anyways, I'm going to hop in the shower. Okay. I think I'll take a brief nap and listen to some music. Let's do this. Let's get back to the party. Yep, let's head out. And I think I can have this option to either go to the dance party or like play volleyball or something. Oh, the sun's going down, but my spirits are rising. This is going to be a memorable yeah, night. Right. I can feel it. I'm almost glad we had this time together. Ooh, the pavilion's all hey, lit up. I hear music. Want to go dance? Um, no. Oh, they're on the wrong side. I'm it's gonna be, gonna be for a little bit. I'm in the mood for some sports. I'll see you later, Susie. See you later. <laughs> this is the volleyball court. I hope I do better with the drummers than I do than I did with the trumpets. I approach the volleyball court where the trumpets and drum line are getting ready to face off. Hey! Scarlet. Hmm. Yeah, Peter. Whoa, 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 down, boys. I just came to watch. Why watch when you can partake? Oh, yeah. He's right. You're the drum major, so you should join the drum team. <laughs> sure, but if you want to win, you should be on the trumpets team. Your call. Actually, I think I will join them, but which team should I be on? Obviously, the drum line. I hope I don't make the drum line lose. <clears throat> I'll join the drum line after all. I am the drum major. Oh, they switch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doug. You're gonna regret that. Come on, Scarlet, you can be next to me. Aw, he's so cute. Oh, I, I take my place beside oh, Doug and I find that I'm standing straight across from Peter. He stares at me through the net, eyes glittering. Does I think he's already won? The nerve. Oh, that boy really steams my broccoli. Ew, I hate that term. You're going down. Get ready. In history, maybe. Mm. For drug charges, probably. Oh! Aaron has no chill. Yeah. What was that? Nothing. He just smiles. Look at that smile. The trumpets serve first. I leap into the air, uh, spike it back into their zone, and almost hits Peter in his stupid face. Exactly! His stupid face! Point for the drum line. Everyone on my team cheers. Whoa, you better watch out, trumpets, because I am on today! <laughs> Our turn to serve. I rotate, giving Peter a little wave as I move away from him. Aaron serves. It barely clears the net, but Peter's already there to spike it back. Oh no. I dive to bump it, but I'm one second too slow and I'm left lying on the ground while the ball patters away across the sand. I look up at Peter who has a rotated who has rotated to stand in front of me once more. He cocks his head smiling down at me. Too bad for you. I'm always on. 
I scrambled on my feet and face up to him. <sighs> well, I'm always on too. J just meant I'm on more than usual today. Is it because- Is it because I turned you on? No! Exactly, no! Maybe we should get the two of you your own dorm room. Ew, no! I- This is not supposed to be about Peter. What the heck? How about our own boxing ring? It's a very close game. The two teams are never more than a point or two apart, and we're always rotating. I give it my all. I'll do whatever it takes to win and wipe that smug grin off Peter's perfect face. Ew, why did I call his face perfect? No, we do not like Peter in this one. I mean, his stupid face. That's what I meant. Damn. Ooh, it's hot out, and this is getting pretty serious. I'm actually starting to break a sweat. Uh, why is it focusing on Peter? That's not what I want. Peter takes off his shirt. It is hot out. No, I can't lose focus. I know what you're doing and it's not going to work. He strikes a little pose, digging his feet into the sand and beckoning me, beckoning me forward with a finger. We're both in front of the net, our perspective sides show. Really sides now. Life. The game is tied, one more point, and it's over. The serve, it's back up. It's back, it, the serve, it's up. Back and forth, the ball goes. Passes, pass between me and Peter. I shove teammates out of the way to get to it before then Peter does the same. It's just the two of us on the court, no one else matters. Get out of my way, I'm winning this thing. I can't lose, I worked too hard for this. Yeah. <laughs> the ball's right over the net. Peter and I jump for it at the same time, arms outstretched. Unfortunately, he's taller than me. <laughs> no, this wasn't supposed to be a romantic moment for Peter! He ducks the volleyball down onto my side and I slap at it, pathetically pushing it into the net to keep it from hitting the ground. I hate this so much. Why is this like a tor- This is like tormenting me. That's what this is. No, no, go over the net, you stupid ball! Peter catches he the ball, I'm looking amused. Shit? I just keep shoving the ball through the net and it into his bare chest, but it's too late, the I game is over. Rematch. No, it can't end like this. Unfortunately for you, Peter drops the ball, it slips through my hands, and it hits the ground with a dull thud. I mean, that's not how you play volleyball, but I guess. This is dumb! Why was this a romantic moment with Peter? That's not what I wanted. I look at the sad, pathetic ball on the ground and the fierce uh, and the fierce fire raging within me is snuffed out in a single blow. No. We gotta contest this shit. Don't look around you. I do. It really is just a- No! It's the two of us! I don't like this. Hey, where did everyone go? I guess they felt a little left out. Our personal rivalry, rivalry majorly overshadowed the one with the trumpets and the drums. True. Yeah, my respect though, that was seriously impressive. Really? Perfect. I couldn't have asked for a more perfect match. I don't like this. I'm very upset with this outcome. Perfect match. Whoa, did my heart just skip a beat? No, it did it! Thirsty. All of this has left me pretty thirsty. Let's go grab a drink. All of the tension seems to have dissolved out of nowhere. And now that I think about it, I'm dead tired. A cold drink sounds heavenly. Mm, I don't like that. Should I go back and just try to see what happens if- I know what happens if I do the other one, I make the drummers win, but I wanted a romantic moment between me and, and Doug. Uh, this is upsetting. Gonna beat the fuck out of him. I'm just not good at with, like choices, like I don't know what's the best choice for the situations at hand. I mean, I'm not even focused on like beating the game, I'm just focused on what I want. <laughs> The dancing that was going on here seems to be winding now while people are chilling out at the tables. Hey! What are you going to do? Oh, yes! Okay, let's go. Hey, Scarlet, you should come down to the lake with us. Sure, why not? Yes! Okay, yes, okay. When we were at the lake, Aaron comes walking up with a big box of something. Fireworks? Are you even supposed to have those? Let's see. Everyone just, kind of looks, kind, everyone just kind of looks at one another and shrugs. Doug grins. Oh, man, fireworks and Doug do not seem like a good combination. Oh. You afraid of fireworks? No, I'm afraid of the drummer's judgment. Doug, you're not going to do anything stupid like set off a bottle rocket on your head, are you? No way, I'd never do that. We're going to set one off on Tanner's head. <laughs> idiots. No, no, that's a terrible idea. I'm kidding. I can never tell if he's really kidding or not. Just in case, I'm going to chaperone this event. My sixth sense tells me something bad might happen if I don't. Besides, there's only one girl in the drum line, and I can't leave her alone with all those crazy boars. Po boys, poor Sophie. We set off a few fireworks over the lake. Aaron seems to know what he's doing. Thankfully, 
Some band camps from the other sections even come over to watch. Uh, on a Screw it, look, thanks, Nets. He chucks one at the ground and it goes off with a loud pop. Nice. It sounds like a cap gun. Ooh, let me try. He gives me a few. Alright, hands up, bandit, or I'll shoot. You'll never catch me alive, trooper. <laughs> the little sound effects is cute. They throw more at the oh, ground okay. laughing as they go off. Pow, you're toast. <laughs> so dramatic, I've been hit! <laughs> he clutches his shoulder and falls to his knees dramatically. This will finish you off. I throw my last bang snap at the ground and with the final pop, Doug recoils and gasps. <laughs> so my mom. I love her. <laughs> he slumps to the ground okay, and his okay, body falls okay. still. Two seconds later, he sits up shaking with laughter. <laughs> oh, I love him so much! I can't. What is this? At the end of the night, when many people have gone inside, we decide to light up the sparklers. Everyone feels off into small groups, enjoying the calm atmosphere and the reflection of the lights on the lake. Oh, I love this music. These are always romantic moments, or something. Well, they're like, like that. I end up sitting on the dock with Doug. He sits close to me, our arms almost brushing. I can feel Doug's words radiating off, radiating off of him. It makes my heart pick up the tempo. Look at this. He whips the sparkler through the air, creating a hypnotic pattern. It's pleasing to the eye. I clear my throat and rise to my feet and lift my hands like I'm about to conduct. I use the sparkler like a baton, carving the air with dazzling light. Oh my god, that's such a dorky thing to do. Whoa. <laughs> That'd be so cool if you could use that in the show. Might be a little hard to follow, though. I sit back and down on the dock as my sparkler begins to fizzle out. Doug and I sit beside each other in silence for a full 10 seconds, which is impressive for him. I find myself watching him and smiling. Oh, look at his smile. He's really captivated by his sparkler. Uh, make him clean up? No, I'm not gonna make him clean up. Ask him about his exorbitant amounts of RAM, which is an energy drink, or ask him about his dreams. I do dreams. The romantic atmosphere makes me feel sentimental and introspective. I try to sound casual, excuse me, I sound casual as I broach the subject of Doug's dreams for the future. So Doug, tell me about your dreams. He perks up. Oh man. <laughs> Last night I dreamed I didn't have any hands, so I had to play my drums with my feet. Turns out my drum had stolen my hands and it would have stolen my feet too if I hadn't outsmarted it. Oh, that's interesting. Sorry, but I meant your dreams for the future. Like, what do you want to do after high school? Hmm. Well, I drive an ice cream truck. <laughs> that doesn't answer my question. Got my license at the beginning of summer, and I got the job right after. It comes with benefits, too. No way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I Same get long. to eat one free ice cream bar a week, and guess that's what? Once I get good. out of high school, I'll be able to work all year round. Oh, now I get it. You're already living the dream. Uh, yep, man, I miss my job. Next summer when I'm back on the road, come by anytime you want a free ice cream. Come by where? It's a truck, so aren't you always moving around? Yeah, so come find the truck. <laughs> uh-huh. So, uh, what I'm did you do show. to outsmart the drum before it stole your feet? Oh, yeah. I'm glad you asked. What a dork. After that, we spend a good while just chatting. When I see the drummers are starting to leave, I go over and make sure they clean everything up. We don't want to start- we don't want a stray bottle rocket shooting into the lodge and setting it ablaze. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. No, it wouldn't. I mean, maybe if this was a sitcom, but we'd have to face the wrath of Mr. Wiley afterwards, and I value my life. Me too. Come on, everyone. We can offer miss and head back to the lodge for a good night's rest. Sweet dreams. Aww. Same to you, Doug. With a parting wave to Doug, I head back to my room for the night. I want to get closer to Doug. There you are. What happened to you at the party? Sorry, Susie. Something came up. She smirks almost knowingly. Oh, I see. It's fine. Expect her to press me for details, but surprisingly, she doesn't. Good night. Pretty tired, so I'm going to bed. Good night. Night. I get dressed in my jammies and quickly brush my teeth. I turn the lights off and climb into bed. Pulling the blanket up to my chin, I close my eyes and think of Doug at the uh, Doug and the drummers. Doug is so much fun. I really enjoy our time together. I think I want to get to know him more. Of course I do! Uh, eventually I fall asleep holding that thought close. Okay, let's see where things go from here. 
it happens. Oh, what's gonna happen? This is definitely gonna be new because I've never seen that title. Today's the day we get to go home. I keep all my stuff packed so I wouldn't forget anything. I'm going to go see if the bus drivers are here. Of course they're not. There's always a there's already a group congregating with luggage, but it doesn't look like anyone's boarded the buses yet. Uh, I guess Mr. Riley still needs to open them. Oh, it's Aaron. Yo. It's me. Dugaro? One of my is babysitter. Sorry, I didn't mean. Eh. Doug's still sleeping. You sure you're not his baby yet? His babysitter yet? Somehow you know exactly where he is and what he's doing. Hey, here comes Mr. Wiley with- Here comes Mr. Wiley! Uh, Mr. Wiley, the buses are locked. I know, unfortunately, they're still broken down too. I'm afraid we won't be going home today. We're going to be stuck here for another day? Everyone starts talking all at once. Mr. Wiley holds up his hands for silence. Bring it in! Now, I know things are a little more than hectic right now, but don't worry. I've contacted your parents and they're aware you'll be staying a little longer. Everything's all cleared up. Oh, he did? Maybe now that there's service, I can call my mom. But don't you worry, your little heads. I'll miss all of this bus turmoil. I have good news for you. Oh. Yeah, over my dead body. I'll be damned. Excuse me. I'll be darned if I'm going to let a perfectly good day for band camp go to waste. You know what they say when life gives you lemons? Make a lemonade. And when those lemons are broken down band buses, well, how often do we all end up stuck with a, stuck in the middle of nowhere with our instruments? Hey, Mr. Wiley. Hold on. You're saying we're still holding practice? Bingo! Eat a hearty breakfast if you haven't already, and meet me at the field in one hour. He moves off while everyone is left in a state of shock. What? A rehearsal? But it's Saturday. My beef stew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think it showed Garth's face. It didn't. Garth it didn't show his sour expression. Wait for me! Wait for me! <laughs> Doug comes barreling up to the buses, <laughs> nearly taking out an unexpected freshman along the way. He skids to a halt next to me, panting, carrying a sports bag in one hand. <laughs> Almost missed the bus. <laughs> no, you didn't, but you did miss Mr. Wiley's announcement. I relayed to him what Mr. Wiley said and watched him watch his jaw jo drop. Oh man. You've got to be joking. I wish I was. Well, nothing we can do about it. You want to grab breakfast? Sure. Oh, I love that. I don't see the drum line. Hey, let's go sit with the pit. Uh, you sure about- Too late, he's already bouncing over to join the pit. The younger members rejoice squealing, Doug, at the sight of him, but Marion gives him the meanest stink I've ever seen. I have no choice but to timidly follow Doug and sit down next to him. How's my second favorite section in the band doing? If you're your second favorite, why bother sitting with us? I miss you guys. I want to know how you're doing. Go away. Oh, why is she so mean about it? We're fine, now leave us alone. Hey, Marion, that's not very fair to Doug. He was part of the pit for a whole year. He should be allowed to visit you guys. I suppose. <sighs> fine, you're right. Wow, I didn't expect her to yield so easily. She takes a deep breath and rubs, breath and rubs her temples with the tips of her fingers. Then she turns to the rest of her section to address them. So, as I was saying, to make up for the extra practice sectional we'll be having today, uh, I prepared a few treats for you. Hey. Treats? Yes, treats for the pit. What are they? I don't want to spoil it, but I'll be making a snack for us to munch on, and I may or may not have procured a few extra water balloons left over from the beach party. The pit cheers, Doug included. Aww. But that is only if you do a good job today. Work hard and show me you're worthy of play. She's like a mother. I love that. Marianne is truly the lord of the pit. I must admit, I never expected her to have this kind of teaching style. It's so wholesome and sweet. I agree. I like that. Uh, before practice starts, I should call my mom and let her know what's going on. She might be worried about me, but signal is practically non-existent. I try anyways. I think it's ringing. Did she pick up? Mom? Mom, are you there? There's nothing but static. Can you hear me? I can't hear you. Hello. Oh, I, 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 I think I can hear a woman's voice through someone, but, but it's mutant and impossible to make out through the static. Be there. I just want you to know that I'm fine and I'll see you soon. Love you. Nothing. I guess there was really no point in following. And thus begins Saturday morning practice, a practice nobody asked for. 
Everyone is groaning and grumpy. Conversation is limited because everyone is snapping at one another, taking their questions out on their friends. They can't help it. They wanted to go home. Now they're stuck working on a Saturday. And so we stretch in silence until... Hold it. <clears throat> trombones? Mine is Tom who is sick. I need to speak with you. The trombones do as he says. A moment later, I don't know why he bothered gathering them, but he's screaming at the top of his lungs. I, I would so much... <laughs> I'm the band director. You listen to what I say. When I sta say stand on your heads, you stand on your heads. When I say have a sectional during the first week of band camp, technically the first week isn't over. And you're lucky it isn't. If the buses weren't shot, I'd be twice as angry. I don't think that's possible. Shh, Susie. You better have a sectional today, and just so you don't forget about it, give me three laps around the field. You can think long and hard about your commitments. Trombones do as he says, looking downcast. Honestly, they have no one to blame but themselves, but three laps on a hot Saturday morning still seems a little rough. Tom picked a good day to get sick. After that, the basic session is intense. Mr. Wiley pushes and pushes and only stops after the freshman sousaphone drops his instrument. Then, instead of giving us a water break, he sends us straight into relearning the ballad drill. It's finally done, and there are no mistakes this time. Woohoo! Glad to know we won't be getting sued after surprising the audience with a gigantic dick. <laughs> watch your profanity! So hot out, I stand near a non-existent shade of the lift and watch the band shuffle about looking for their sets. Can't stay here, I'm going to walk around. Seems like the drums have been shoved back field out of sight, out of mind, not far off. The trumpets are learning some kind of strange couple's dance I can practically hear Peter rolling his eyes. Hardly anyone is talking, save for all of snuffing a part. Pop Tart and Clark's usual lecturing. I don't have it in me to tell them to shut up today. They should know better. The hot sun is beating down. What time is it? I'm so thirsty and haven't been working nearly as hard as everyone else. Doesn't, they might be getting de dehydrated. Mr. Wiley? What can I do you for, Scarlet? Ugh, that sounds wrong. Made me sound like one of those troopers from Virginia. I'm never seeing that again. When is he getting so all this energy? Sir, I think the band needs a break. It's been hours and they aren't looking so oh, good. Awesome. Nonsense, we just had a break. When? Either he's going crazy or I am. They need water. Some of them look like they're going to collapse. Hmm, they might be right. Their performance is getting a little lackluster, too. I am right. He goes to the center of the field. Okay, kiddos, time for a nice long 15-minute water break. Sorry, I forgot about it. You're doing such a great job, it completely slipped my mind. I'm glad he listened to what I had to say. Sometimes it's nice to be in a position of power. The drummers break a minute later than everyone else since Aaron was speaking with them. Doug seems to seize me and begins walking towards me. Huge bass drum jutting out in front of him. Wait, he does see me, right? Because he's coming straight at... <laughs> Doug veers oh. at the last oh, second and I watched him. death pass me by. <laughs> Careful, I'll take you out. <laughs> you can if you want. Huh? Wait, what? I'm so flustered I lost control of my brain. <laughs> Luckily for me, Doug seems to forget my flirtatious insta instantly. Um, oh, forgets my flirtation instantly. He takes off his bass drum and sets it on the ground with a loud clunk. Then he sits down next to me and flops into... Oh, he flops. He sits down next to me and flops into my lap. Got a tap in the Scarlet, back. I'm so tired. Get, get off! You're killing me. You can't breathe. My bad. Oh, he removes this tremendous weight, and and I take a big breath, feeling my lungs with precious air. <laughs> He's like some kind of gigantic ginger puppy dog. Oh, I watch him grab an entire jug of iced tea and start chugging it. I mean, I don't know if iced tea is the best thing to be drinking right now. No, no, good, good, good. Um, why don't you try water okay, instead? Doug, I don't think that's healthy. Why don't you try water instead? Oh, man. Water won't give me energy. I need caffeine. Here, I have an extra bottle. Take it. Water tastes gross. Water doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> well, this is flavored water. Huh? Really? Cool, I've never tried flavored water before. <laughs> He takes it, it's just normal water, but he doesn't seem to realize. He downs the entire thing in less than a minute. Hmm, that's good. Glad you liked it. That'll, <laughs> that'll make you feel better than some sugar caffeine con concoction. Well, what flavor was that? Strawberry? Sure, let's go with that. He's so gullible. Did he snore? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm tired now. Wake me up for practice. 
Huh? Before I can fully process what's happening, Doug has slumped over and fallen asleep in my lap. What? Oh my gosh, there's a Doug in my lap! I feel my face heat up in a second flat. People are staring at us. I try to pretend this is a totally normal occurrence among friends. Friends who were just formally introduced less than a week ago. Oh yeah, I forgot. I reach out and give him a tentative pat on the head. Night, night, Doug. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later, we're ready to continue working hard. And we're back. Hmm. Uh, why are you looking at me like that, sir? Uh, I need someone to follow the drummers around with Nurse Tempo so they can work on their beat. Oh, no. I haven't had to do that since minicamp. I hate it. The loudspeaker weighs nearly 20 pounds, and it feels like someone is pounding my ears with a sledgehammer. But I also need you on the podium. I gulp nervously as Mr. Wiley mulls over my fame. Sir. What's the holdup? Is something wrong? Can I help? Actually, excuse me. If you allow me to remind you, I'm something of an understudy to the drum major, Clark. Actually, you can help. He can. I can. <laughs> He's thoroughly shocked. Yes, I have a very important job for you. He whips out Nurse Tembo and her loudspeaker and shoves them into Clark's arms. He's just about to collapse under the unexpected weight. Take this and follow the drum line around. Try and stick behind the snare drums at least six feet back and keep the speaker pointed directly through the back of Aaron's head in the direction of the drum major. Usually this job falls to the lowest ranking staff member, some middle schooler who is so desperate to be part of the band he will do anything, but we won't- we don't have those, so we'll have to improvise. That is horrible. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Clark. Am I conducting? Yes, get up there. Um, but what about the clarinets they need me as a dress point? Trust me, the drummers need you more. I'm sure the clarinets can survive without you for a few hours. A few hours? Um, good luck, Clark. This didn't happen last time. Hiding a relieved grin, I escape my podium. I skip up my podium ladder. Uh, look everyone, Clark's the new Met Boy. Ugh, how the mighty have fallen. Alex, let's not forget who was the Met Boy last year. <laughs> <laughs> he called him out. Only because I was hanging around band practice too much and Mr. Savage caught me. He said, I have a very special job for a very special 8th grader. I couldn't say no to that. I have a very special job for you too. It's to shut up and pay attention. <laughs> that was funny. The band runs chunks of the show, perfecting the music with the drill. Up here I can see everything and I can hear a great deal too. Um, snatches of Doug's conversation continually reach my ears during halts. So what's he chattering about? Oh, looks like he made a new friend. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, that's what happens. I hate it when I get that crud stuck in my eyes and I can't get it out and it just goes deeper and deeper. Clark. <laughs> that's so funny. I count off the band does three sets with the metronome, then resets to try it again. And it turned out my dog had been in the garage all along, so I put those posters all over town for nothing. <laughs> Clark. <laughs> I can't. I can't count off the drill and reset, wash, rinse, repeat. Hey, Mark, how often are you going to be back here with us? Mark? Clark is over it. Mark? <laughs> my name is Clark, you dimwit adult. Clark. What? I need the Met. <laughs> this is amazing. It's a lot. It is a long, long practice with no end in sight and hardly any breaks. Just when I'm beginning to think I've decided I've died and gone to hell, Mr. Wiley calls it. Bring it in. All right, everyone. That's good for today. Bring it in for the huddle. We do as he asks, moving sluggishly. I can hardly lift my feet. I can't imagine those who have been marching all day must feel. Sorry we got stuck here for the weekend, but I'm proud of you all for pushing through it. We got a lot done today, and you should be proud of yourselves. I'm too tired, tired to feel proud. And don't worry, I do have a bit of good news. I'm giving you the day off tomorrow. God rested on the seventh day when he created the Earth, so I, and so too shall you when creating this marching band show. Have a good one. Ugh. He moves off, they clearly not making us go to the ready. <sighs> <clears throat> Remind me how this is good news. We were supposed to have tomorrow off anyways. Yeah. I'm too tired to complain or feel grateful for anything. I just want to collapse in bed. 
Uh, I head back up to the room and do just that, but before I do, I change out of my sweaty day clothes, take a shower, and put on some comfy jammies. Ah, much better. This will be a nap to be all other naps. <sighs> what the fudge? The door to my room bangs open and I snap awake with a small scream, thinking that my time has come and it was such a good life and I'm not ready to die. But then I blink and blink the sleep out of my eyes to see who just burst into my room. Whoa! Yo, Scarlet, let's play paintball. What? Am I still half asleep or is Doug waving a paintball gun around? Oh god! Doug, get that out of here! The paintball gun, that's dangerous! With a yelp of alarm, he chucks it at the nearest wall when, where it leaves a huge dent and clattered on the floor. <laughs> Don't toss it, jeez. Doug casts nervous glances at the paintball gun while I attempt to fix my hair and look presentable. He doesn't even seem to notice or care that I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> I can't believe you actually brought a paintball gun to band camp. What's wrong with my paintball gun? Those things are dangerous. I know a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend who got their eye shot out by one. He was leaving the fray and it took it off his protective eye gear a little too early. He got hit near the eye and it popped right out of his- <laughs> Stop, stop, stop! No, no stories about eyeballs falling out! Sorry, anyways, you could get in big trouble for having something like this here. You should hide it away. Okay. <laughs> Give me a minute to go get dressed and I'll help you. So funny. That means get out. My bad. Oops, sorry. So much for that now. <laughs> Jeff dug out the door and hurried to get ready, throwing my hair in his usual ponytail and pulling on some clean clothes. After washing my face, I head out the door to find Doug waiting for me. Which is funny because like this time I'm not even knowing about the auction. The man auction. Uh, we head to the boys wing of the lodge. Doug disappears inside his room to wedge the paintball gun under his mattress, then returns with heartbroken eyes. Oh, man. I wanted to do something fun with you today, too. With me? I smile to myself. It seems like Doug is always hanging out with the drum line in the pit, soaking up all the attention. I didn't expect him to seek me out on his own for some one-on-one -on -one time. I don't want to lose this opportunity to hang out. I'm sure we could find something else to do. All of Camp Bear Paws are oyster. Oh, I know. He grabs my hand and leaves yeah. me away. Man, no, the sky is a live yeah, wire. Man, it's I tough to keep up. <laughs> Doug, where are we going? You'll see. He just keeps leading me along, hey, holding my hand. I wonder what he the rest said, of the band would think if he saw us right now. Rumors about us would spread faster than pancake batter on a griddle. Oh, I love the lake. Luckily, we make it to the lake without seeing anyone. Wow, this place is dead today. Everyone must be indoors enjoying the air conditioning. Why are the pit instruments out here, though? Dude. Oh, sweet. They must have been having a sexual and gone for a break. Perfect timing. He goes up to the giant bass drum and begins unlatching it. What are you doing? You gotta try this. Try what? The bass drum is big enough for you to curl up inside. See, it's broken right here, so there's an opening. Get in and I'll roll you around. Really? It's awesome. I did it so many times last year. It's awesome. You gotta try it. Is it safe? Yup. Then, okay, sure, let's do it. Hop on in. I crawl inside the gigantic bridge room and curl up. My heart shudders a bit nervously. I'm gonna take you up the hill here and roll you down from there. Wait. Whoa. Oh no, this hill? Oh my god, this one's huge. With ease, Doug picks up both me and the bass drum and drags us to the top of the nearby hill. He's so strong. <laughs> that is so cute. How are you feeling? Pumped? Slightly nervous? I want to be pumped. I'm going to say pumped. <laughs> he gives the top of the drum a thwack. So they, they lost Actually, I haven't felt like this in a long while. Like, I'm on a roller coaster riding to the top of a very first hill. Perhaps my life could use a bit more excitement such as this. You ready? I grin up at him. So ready. All right, brace yourself. Wait, you're not going to roll me towards the lake? Cosmic is cool. <laughs> his face. With great heave, Doug sends the bass drum rolling. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's even more exhilarating than a roller coaster. The world is a blur of colors I hold on for dear life, screaming and laughing all at once then. Oh shh! Oh my god. The drum spins out of control, disorienting me. 
Oh my god, the next second I hit the ground hard. Ouch. What just... Scarlet, are you okay? Doug comes running up to me, his face still filled- his face filled with concern. Yeah, I'm fine. I wish we could say the same for the pit. <gasps> the pit- Oh my god! I leap to my feet and roll my face. The pit, or rather what was once the pit. The instruments have been completely wrecked. <gasps> oh shoot, I- Ooh, we did something really bad. <laughs> We're gonna get in so much trouble. Ah, uh, completely wrecked. Keys and chimes are scattered like bones at my feet. Marion's marimba rolled right into the water. Oh, hold on, I accidentally skipped. Ah. Um, Marianne's marimba rolled right into the water. A large crack splits the once glorious gong. <gasps> the giant bass drum took out the line of instruments like a bowling ball taking out pins, and we got a strike. Oh my god, oh my god, dog, what do we do? Huh? What? We can't put it back together. No, it's totally destroyed the entire pit. We we don't even have a pit anymore. Oh man, oh man, Marion's gonna kill me. Oh no, he already like I feel bad. Not if Mr. Wiley kills us first, we can't let anyone else find out about this. So what do we do? Oh god. Okay, okay, it's gotta calm down and think. Okay, baby steps. I'm gonna run to the band room, grab the instruments repair kit, and I'll figure out what to do once I have it. What should we do once you That's future Scarlet's problem for now? My job is to get the kit. You stay here and watch the instruments, I'll be right back. Oh, I run faster than I ever have before. It's a long way, but I get there in record time. I jog into the band room and grab the instruments repair kit. It's a small black box with an assortment of tools that will do a little to fix the damage done to the pit. What on earth am I going to do with it? Figure it out uh, later. Right now, I need to get back to Doug. Yeah, baby steps. Doug? He's gone, and so is the entire pit. Doug? Scarlet. Where on earth are the pit instruments? The lake? What? I panicked. He legit said, I panicked. <laughs> this, no wonder Aaron basically babysits him this entire time. <laughs> I can't believe that. His response is, I panicked. You dumped the entire pit into the lake. What is the music? Bad music, that's what it is. You dumped the entire pit into the lake? Pit's gonna be back for the sectional soon. You said we couldn't let anyone else find out about this, so I did the first thing I thought of. Hey. Doug. Hey, is that the instrument repair kit? We're saved. Uh oh. Uh oh. I hear voices. Marian. Yes, hide quick. Shoot. Wait, not there. Ugh. I'm gonna kill that Doug clambers up a tree while I circle around behind it just in time to avoid being seen by the pit. I hear their voices raised in excitement and laughter as they approach. <sighs> they have no idea what's waiting for them or rather what's not waiting for them. Time to oh, I'll get my revenge the next time there's a water balloon fight. My aim is usually much... Hey, where did the pit instruments go? This is where we left them, isn't it? Oh no, 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 no. Please don't look at the lake or the trees. Freshmen. How annoying. Some rookie who thought they were being helpful must have put them away. Let's go. I listen as the pit trudges in the direction of the band room. Once they're, go once they're gone, I step out and face up to Doug. He clings at the branch ten feet above my head. Upon seeing me, he leaps down with ease. Oh, we're in so much trouble. Yeah, if anyone finds out, we're dead meat. I've got a bad feeling that it's all downhill from here. Oh, 100%. A long silence passes between us as we wonder what to do. Oh, don't uh, we're all? Well, uh, baby steps, right? Let's say we baby step the heck out of here. Okay, just hiding in our rooms the rest of the day sound good to you? Yep. We leave behind the scene of the crime, trying to move quickly, but at the same time, trying not to look suspicious. We look totally suspicious, I bet. <clears throat> Don't look around so much. You look more suspicious if you're constantly looking over your shoulder. You're right. You're really smart. Have you done this before? This is my room. Don't breathe a word of this to anyone, okay? Okay. I squint at Doug, hoping I can trust him. He looks innocent enough, but I don't know how good he is at keeping secrets. Hopefully, he'll keep it under wraps until I think of some sort of solution. Oh, no. I stay in my room, 
for a while trying to think of what to do. Number one priority would be fishing the instruments out of the lake, I guess. After that, do I take them to Mr. Wiley? Marion? Either way, I feel like I'd wind up with a broken neck. Maybe I'm overthinking it. A solution might present itself all on its own, right? Only one can only hope. Hmm, I wonder where Susie is. I eat dinner at a late hour. I wasn't hungry after the pit catastrophe, but I can't starve off. I can't starve off starvation for long. Uh, to my surprise, the entire cafeteria is empty, save for. No, it's Marion. Marion? What do you want? My goodness, she's a wreck. Are you okay? What's wrong? I take a seat across from her. Like you care. I have a disturbing feeling. I already know what she's crying about, but I ask again, anyways. Please tell me what's wrong. Maybe I can help. I seriously doubt it. Typical Marion. Okay, I get it. I'll leave you alone. Just as I go to pick up my tray. Wait! The the pit instruments have gone missing. A fresh wave of tears bunch over it bunches in her eyes. I can't find them anywhere. What? I feel sick with guilt pretending to be surprised. Where do you think they could have gone? I don't know. They weren't they weren't where we left them. They weren't at the field or put away in the band room. They vanished. Well, let's think about this. Maybe Mr. Wally moved them, or it could be a mean senior prank? What an awful prank that would be. The drumline likes awful pranks. Why would, you, why would you say that? No way Aaron wouldn't let them pull something like this. Her face scrunches with misery, and I feel like the scum of the earth. Oh, God. What's going on? Did you miss the rapture, too? Marion hastily wipes her face at the sight of Doug and straightens up. Rapture, what on earth are you blathering about? You go Everyone's gone. Genius. They're at the auction, genius. Auction? Marion stands up smoothing her shirt. Her cheeks are still a bit blotchy, but I can see she's mostly back in control. I better get going. I told the rest of the pit I'd look for the missing instruments while they're off enjoying the auction. I'll help you look. I blurt it out before I have time to think. Uh... We'll both help, won't we, Doug? Sure, I'm gonna eat dinner first if that's okay. Yeah, me too. Time to get to work. Well, I'm not gonna wait up for you. I need to get to work. Wait. I hurriedly start shoveling dinner down my throat. Why? You can't be off by yourself when it's dark. Besides, I already said I want to help you look. <gasps> oh my god, I hope we see find Garth in time. Fine. Marion taps her foot impatiently while I rush to finish my meal. Doug, on the other hand, takes his time, feeling none of the urgency I feel. Okay, ready. I'll catch up with you. Sounds good. So, where haven't you looked? I suppose. Well, not in the not so obvious places, I, know, I suppose. Like in but the lake. Crazy. Maybe we should do a sweep of the camp. I mean, how hard can it be to spot a bunch of large instruments? It's definitely a start. Start better than standing here like idiots. <clears throat> yeah. It's not easy to pretend to be looking for the instruments when I know they're sitting at the bottom of the lake. I find myself steering Marion in the wrong direction, keeping myself between her and what she seeks. <sighs> I'm a terrible person. So Doug really seems to like you. Huh? What? Where did this come from? I found her a reply. Don't you think so? He's just a friendly guy. He's like that with everyone. Trust me, he likes you. For some reason, my heart feels lighter when she says that. Oh. <laughs> How do you know for sure? Just asking out of curiosity. <gasps> what? Because I dated him? You dated Doug? I dated Doug. Even the, the arms, I still the arms haven't recovered all of the brain cells I lost. Oh god. He's looking at you the same way he used to look at me. He died one more time. Oh. Why am I? St I'm not even stealing a man this time. But why is it somebody that dated somebody else? I feel super awkward all of a sudden. I pretend to check behind a tree for a marimba. Nothing there. I can't think of what to say. Do you hear that? Hear what? Uh, as soon as the question leaves my lips, I hear it. Footsteps. We're not alone in these woods. Suddenly, a dark shadow slips around from behind a tree and approaches us. It's- it's Bigfoot! It's Doug. <laughs> Sweet sassy molassy, you two just about gave me a heart attack. <gasps> I got- oh my god, I hope we saved Garth because of this. Oh, it's Mr. Wiley, sorry about that. Just what are you two doing out here in the middle of the night? Why aren't you at the auction? Um, girl talk? Yeah, girl talk. <laughs> when did you get here? 
Just now, what's going on? The three of you should either- Ah! There was a fly that just flew in my face. The three of you should either go to the auction or go back to your rooms. I don't like you kids wandering around at night and getting up to shenanigans. Yes, sir, let's go, you two. See you all tomorrow. I really hope that bot guards sometime. You didn't tell him, did you? Uh, that you lost the instruments? I didn't lose them, and I didn't tell him anything. Good idea. Who knows, right? Maybe we'll find them tomorrow, right? And everything might turn out okay, right? Right? Ugh. I'm going to bed. I'm getting a migraine. Good idea. I'll walk you back to your room. Eh, thank you, Doug. Oh, I see Miriam look between the two of us. A small smirk twitches at her lips. Have fun. Have fun, you two. We always do. Oh, I can't believe she used to date him. Doug walks me back to my room. Hey, Doug, get some rest and remember, don't breathe the word of what happened today to anyone. You can't count on me. You can count on me. I mean, you can count on me. My tongue slipped. I certainly hope so. Sweet dreams. Oh. I guess Susie is at the auction thing. I wonder what that was about. And now that I think about it, why wasn't Mr. Wiley there? Why was he out wandering in the middle of the woods like us? Maybe we're not the only ones with a secret. I really hope Garth is okay. I hope that bought him some time. In deep pit. Oh god. Now this is gonna get bad. Much worse. I feel like. And then after Tom started his stuff, it was Peter's turn. And of course I want him. <laughs> Big surprise. It was pretty funny, you should have been there. Yeah, why weren't you there? I did such a great job hosting it and you missed it. I told you, Susie, I missed the announcement. I was asleep. I don't know how many more times I can apologize. Hey. Good morning. Aw, oh, Doug. Suddenly, Doug plops himself down in the empty seat next to me and throws his arm around my shoulders. The conversation dies on the spot and everyone goggles at us. Or Googles. You look... Oh my god! You look crazy pretty this morning. Like, prettier than a than a someone who's really pretty. My face yeah, heats up faster than a furnace. A Doug, uh, what's going on? Wait, are you two? Oh yeah. Yup, we're together. What? Together? As in boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah, he's <laughs> I'd ask you why you didn't tell me about this, but it seems like you didn't even know about it. <laughs> huh? But I asked you out yesterday and you said yes. What? Where was I for this? Are you sure you didn't mistakenly ask someone else else out, Doug? Uh, no, I swear it was you. I... Oh... Uh, what is happening right now? Uh, it was a dream. I asked you out in a dream and you said yes. Oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> you can't tell the difference between dreams and reality. Oh my god. How humiliating for the both of you. Doug suddenly rolls it in his, in his seat to face me head on. He takes my hand in his and looks seriously into my eyes. Will you go out with me? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Huh? I want to make my dream come true. And yours too, if you let me. Not that I know what your dreams are, but maybe I can make them come true too. <laughs> oh my god, I love this! <laughs> Staring at me. Oh, Doug. He just did. I give his hands a little squeeze and groan up at him. Let's go out. <laughs> my God. Seriously? You just made my dream come true. Aww. Maybe it was a prophetic dream. You could have a power of, of, of foresight, Doug. Oh wait, you could have the power of foresight, Doug. You think so? Uh, it Doug's arm casually snakes itself around my Except shoulders order. once more. I take a deep breath to relax. This all just happened so fast. I feel like I need a couple of seconds to catch up with re reality. Susie won't stop staring. I guess I know where you are now. <laughs> I guess so. Peter. Where are you rushing off to? Just to throw my trash away? There's no practice today. Stay a while, won't you? Fine, fine. Love ya. She passed his head. Boyfriend, the words send a jolt through me. I have a boyfriend. Doug is my boyfriend now. I had a grin. I never saw that one coming. Oh, I'm so happy now. <laughs> we have the whole day to relax. What do you want to do? 
I definitely don't want to repeat of what happened yesterday. Same, what should we do instead? Frisbee, sit by the lake, leave and go talk to Susie. Frisbee, uh, or, I don't know. Frisbee. Want to toss the frisbee around? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love frisbee. I'll go get mine. Doug races off, then returns with the yellow frisbee. I, this, this is giving off golden retriever boy energy, not 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 gonna lie. Go long. Ah, not so high. I have to leap higher than I've ever leapt to catch Doug's tosses. He catches mine with ease. We go back and forth for a little while, enjoying ourselves. Yo. Got room for one more? I want to play. Me too. Sure, anyone can join. The next thing I know, a full-on game of Ultimate Frisbee has broken out. I'm not even sure who is on what team. All I know is that it's a lot of fun. Coming at ya! I got it, I got it! By the end, Doug and I are out of energy. We collapse by the lake and dip our tired feet into the water. It's awesome! Man, I'm bushed. That was awesome. It really was. You're so good at sports. Um, look who's talking. I don't think there's any sport you're not good at, Doug. I know. So it made me marching band, and yet here I am. That's not true. Well, maybe it is a little true, but I'm so glad he's here. He said time for Doug. No! It's that stuff that's not happen, okay? But we're dating now. <laughs> I'm not gonna get a bad ending this time. I really hope not. I think we might have saved Garth, I think. Like, by being out in the woods last night. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see if, if Garth goes missing. <clears throat> Gazing out across the lake, I remember the pit instruments. It was all too easy to forget about them when Doug asked me out. Now I can feel worry seeping back into my system. Marker. No! <laughs> it's, it's Marco, you dolt! Marco Polo! I can't believe you never played this before! Right. Okay, okay, I got it now. Don't worry. Marker. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say Polar? I'm gonna! Chill. Alex, he's messing with you. <laughs> oh, are they gonna find the instruments? What is it? These guys are getting really close to, um, the place. He points at a particular part of the lake. <laughs> the place, the place where the pit instruments sleep in a watery grave. <laughs> I watched helplessly as the group playing Marco Polo drifts nearer and nearer to the spot Doug pointed out. We can't just sit here, we have to do something in fast. What should we do? Follow my lead. I whip off my closer reveal of bathing suit underneath and splash into the water Doug follows. Wait till where the instruments are hidden, I think my foot brushes the cold corpse of a wind chime. It sends a shiver up my spine. Here goes nothing. Hey Scarlet, you wanna play Marco Polo with us? Pop Tart can't play to save his Snake. Without warning, Doug scoops me up into his arms and holds me high above the water. <laughs> He's either, either really a really good actor or he honestly believes there's a snake. Either way, it gets the point across. Oh. Snake! Doesn't anyone come don't anyone come any closer get out get to the shore quick? Alex doesn't need to be told twice and he's he and all the other band kids enjoy the water scramble for dry land. <laughs> Doug, did you see where it went? So what do we do? No, what do we do? Slowly start making your way, huh? Oh. Of course, Pop Tart wants to see this thing. I want to see the water snake. Where is this? Where is the little guy? <laughs> Don't come any closer, Pop Tart. It could be dangerous. I'm sorry, they didn't give it to you. What the fuck? I know how to tell the difference between venomous and non-venomous snakes. I'm sure it's just a harmless water snake. It could still bite you. We need to evacuate this area of the lake immediately. <laughs> okay. Three of us slowly make our way back to shore where the band is waiting for us. You can put me down now, Doug. Thanks. Okay. No problem. <clears throat> I turn to address our peers. Okay, listen up. I want everyone staying away from that part of the lake. If there are snakes nesting over there, we don't want anyone getting hurt. If you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. I'm gonna catch a snake. Yeah, yeah, stick it in someone's bed. No, you can try, but you'll be in big trouble if you do. Ooh, Aaron's eyes got dark. On second thought, a worm would be much funnier, right, bro? Much better. He just stopped. <laughs> wow, talk about a 180. Yeah, just... Let's stick to this side of the lake. Is everyone clear on that? Oh. <laughs> Crystal, I hate <laughs> snakes. 
A couple of band members return to the lake, but others don't seem so keen on the idea now. Mission accomplished. Doug, would you like to grab lunch, just the two of us? No way am I sitting in this, with the same group of friends. Same group from this morning. Really? I'd love to. <clears throat> I don't know how we're still calm over the whole losing the instruments thing. Today's lunch is a baked potato and broccoli slathered in melted cheese. Yum. As I sit down across from Doug, I can't help but blush a little. Eating with him feels different now that he's my boyfriend. <laughs> but he's the same as ever. Oh, man. What's wrong? Either. Just kicking myself for yesterday. Aren't we both? That bass drum is bad oh. luck. Did something else happen with that bass drum? Oh, yeah. It's an evil day. It's still right. <laughs> Last spring in an indoor drumline competition, I hit oh, the bass drum too hard and busted a hole right through it. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Did you hear what was inside? There was something inside? Yeah, drugs. What? I thought that was just a rumor. Nope, it was too real. I didn't know what it was at first, so I asked the others. I thought maybe some left I thought maybe someone left their salad in there as like, you know, a snack for later. No! <laughs> this man literally found weed in his bed. <laughs> This oh my god, this this route with Doug is working out so much better than I anticipated. <laughs> I mean, band kids, there are definitely the few, or the good amount that will do weed in high school. <laughs> then everyone's freaking out and yelling, Doug found drugs in the drum! And then the police thought that I had hidden them in there. Oh, poor Doug. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They took me in for questioning and did a drug test. They kept telling me I was going to get suspended or worse. It was so scary. I had taken some meds for a headache that day and I thought it was going to show up in my system and they were going to jail me for it. But when I asked them about it, they just kind of laughed at me. Aw, poor dog. Luckily, I came out clean and didn't get in trouble, but the drug dogs always search my locker whenever there's a lockdown now. You can put the bomb dogs, but not the drug dogs. Remember that. <laughs> I'll file that away. <laughs> Wait, this is coming back to me now. Wasn't Mr. Savage out for a day or so while they investigated him? Aaron too. He was pretty mad that he wasn't allowed to come to ban until his name was cleared. I think he was insulted they thought he'd do drugs too. Drumming is his drug. <laughs> so basically anyone who knew how to replace a bass drum head was a suspect, but they had nothing else to go on. Yeah, and to this day we still don't know who put those drugs in the bass drum. I wonder who it could have been. To be honest, I could see Drum and Drummer pulling that. Honestly? Yeah. Yo. Hey. Oh, hello, Aaron. It doesn't bother to run for my greeting and looks to Doug. We have a sectional starting in 10 minutes. You've already forgotten once. If I were you, I wouldn't forget again. Okay. Okay. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. I was in a good mood. Yeah. Well, I better go. Well, it feels like we just sat down. Mind if I tag along? You totally should. Let's go. Oh. There's Doug. Two more left. Drum and drummer. It wouldn't surprise me. They're running late. Aaron idly taps out a beat on his drum while we wait. He doesn't seem to mind that I'm here. Here we are. <clears throat> right on time too. To be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. Ah, uh, the the what is it like the holy principle of band. <laughs> <clears throat> but I'll let it slide. Where are your drumsticks? Uh, drummer holds up a single drumstick. We couldn't find them. This is the only one we have. And just what do you think you'll accomplish with one drumstick between the two of you? Nah, we can make it work. Watch this. Chuckling drummer begins to bang on two drums at the same time with different ends of the stick. So he's the quad, I guess. Aaron. <laughs> Uh, hey Scarlet, maybe you should go. You're right, I don't want to be a distraction. <laughs> I feel a bit awkward too. Uh, you should have dinner with us later, it'll be fun. Okay, later, Doug. <laughs> later, Tater. <laughs> He's such a dork. I decided to head back to my room for a nap. Hey. <clears throat> Marion. Uh. What, am I really that scary? No, you surprised me as all. So I heard you and Doug are an item. You did? Of course, it's all over the band. Did he really think 
Did he really think he asked you out because he'd done so in a dream? I can't say I'm shocked. I think it's kind of cute. Yeah, SoundCloud's got one video. You would, wouldn't you? What is that supposed to mean? She goes on her way. I don't know how she feels about me dating her ex. She's hard to get a read on, considering she's always kind of pissed off. Still, I feel bad for what happened to her beloved what? pit instruments. There you are. Finally, I've been dying to talk to you. What's up, Susie? <clears throat> I wanted to know your thoughts after what happened this morning. I had no idea you liked Doug. Um, <laughs> honestly, it all happened so fast. What do you like the most about him? His kind heart, his muscles, no idea. His kind heart, of course. He's so kind that his heart- yeah. He's so kind that his heart may be made of gold. I don't think Doug has a bad bone in his body. You might be right about that. I don't know him well enough to say, but he seems cool. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, anyways, I'm sleepy. I'm gonna take a nap. See you later. Okay, I'm gonna go hunt down Eugene. Her boyfriend. Eventually, it's time to eat dinner. The day is going fast. Once this is over, it'll be time to stick our noses on the grindstone the again. Yeah. Or however the saying goes. Hey. Scarlet over here. Looks like I'm eating with the drummers today. That's a first. Yeah, the big one's right Hey there, how's the sectional? Great. Oh, my or it would have been if we hadn't spent our precious time looking for lost drumsticks. <laughs> Whatever, we found them in the end, right? Yeah. For some reason, drum and drummer exchange a nervous glance, but I quickly forget about it as I enjoy my meal and sit back and relax to watch the daily life of the drumline play out. It's kind of nuts, actually. Everyone is talking over one another, stealing food off each other's plates. Doug is like a hurricane swallowing up the food in the conversation. But if he's a hurricane, Aaron is the eye of the storm. He sits calmly amongst the drummers, looking quite out of place. He didn't even get any food. He merely sips on a can of lemonade. He only speaks when he has, a de when he has demands to make. You spilled your drink. Clean it up. My bad. My bad. I'm on it. Aaron is like the <laughs> drum godfather. Jeez, it's, I'd go as far as to suggest they have more respect for him than yeah. Mr. Wiley. Take this banana peel and throw it at the trumpet section. What? He literally was just instructing them to do something. <laughs> yes, boss. Man. I want to do it. Give it to me. Bro. Let go. He yes, asked me. I feel kind of like an intruder usurping his power. Uh, or perhaps my power doesn't even exist here in, in this strange forbidden world of the drumline. I'll protect you. Scarlet, get down. The trumpets are returning fire. I'll protect you. Doug shields me with his body and apple core bounces off his back into the floor. <laughs> Yuck. I've got you. Aww. Ugh, pretty ain't much. I'm gonna puke. Hey, I'm not complaining. We have more eye candy than just Sophie. Ew! Whoa, whoa, what did he just say? Stick up for yourself and for Sophie. Get Doug to stick up for you. Take it as a compliment. Um, I'm gonna stick up. Okay, I'm not gonna just take that. How dare you just talk about us like we're just here to be seen. And right in front of us too. Uh-oh, I think it's that time of the month. Oh, I hate them. I hate them so much. I slam my hands on the table and stand up. It is not. I'm reasonably angry. Sophie is just like... Sophie, is it like this all the time? Sophie avoids my eye, but I catch her subtle nod. You don't have to put up with this boys club. You're welcome to come sit with me and my friends anytime. The battery sticks together. Who are you to tell her where she can and can't sit? There's a soft ooh as I challenge Aaron head on. Jeez, it's like they worship him or something. Oh, man. Scorer, we have so much fun acting like idiots. We forget there's a lady among us. We need to be, what's the word? Syphilis? Chivalrous Doug. I round on drum and drummer. If you lo losers ever want a girlfriend, or at the very least the respect of your peers, then you'd better think about the an attitude adjustment. The sexist comments end here and now. They roll their eyes, but they have nothing to say to that. She's right. Sophie, if anyone in the section gives you trouble again, don't be afraid to come to me about it. Or me. Sophie looks at me smiling, smiles a bit. Doug, pass my arm, and I, I have done my good deed for the day. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It sucks that they don't show her though. Hmm. How's everybody's night so far? I feel like I've been talking so much. I mean, I have to yeah, kind of talk the entire time. You said Rex, Sophie doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> She's just there in passing. <laughs> not act not not an actual character. 
I yeah, I didn't even know there was a girl in the drum line until I went with Doug's story. <laughs> Just a minor character. Uh, we spent more than an hour in the cafeteria with the drums fooling around until this place is emptied out. When we step outside, the sun has departed and it's grown dark. It's getting late. I might go to bed early tonight unless you want to do something. Something, excuse me. I can't really think of anything. Oh, well, I know. Do you want to come see my room? Sure. You can meet my roommate, too. Since we're all in the same band, I'm sure I've already met him by now. Who's your roommate, anyway? His name is Samson. We both forgot to sign up for a roommate, so we got put together. He's pretty cool. There isn't anyone named Samson in this band. What the heck? Whoa, this place is a pig pen. Well, have a pig pen. One side of the room looks entirely vacant and the other looks like a tornado hit it. It's a little messy. J just a little? Hey. Oh, dude, this oh my god, it's Samuel! I got scared! This season was only 40 days. He scared me. <laughs> Samuel, it's you! Mm -hmm. It's me. Also, Best roommate ever, right, buddy? Depends which side of the room you're standing on. I had no idea they were roommates, that's kind of funny. Um, come over here, Scott. I'll show you my Hawaii shirt collection. Yeah, this one is actually from Hawaii. I spend a while in Doug's room while he bounces from location to location, showing me his little bits and pieces of his life. Sometimes he starts ta talking to Samuel, but Samuel has his earbuds in to tune us out, though. Doug hardly seems to notice and holds an entire conversation all on his own. It's quite a spectacle to behold. It's time to put an end to this evening when I'm yawning every other minute. I better go, Doug. <clears throat> Band camp starts back up again tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. Good night. He wraps me in a big bear hug. Aww. You're choking me. Ah, sorry, I'll let you go now. Sweet, sweet hair. It's good to be able to breathe. See you tomorrow, guys. Samson. <laughs> I was like, Samson? <laughs> Susie is in here. She must be with Eugene. Time for bed. I don't know what to do. I really hope Garth is okay. I really hope, man. I, I really hope. Yeah, but I don't know if this could I just I don't know. I just assume talking to somebody going for good. Gong for good. Oh dang it, okay. It's the start of week two. We're halfway through this thing. Woo, get pumped. There's a superhero landing emote in Final Fighting if I want it. There's a superhero landing emote. You get it from like a mission or something, or how do you get it? As I approach the field with my bag, I notice something a little odd. Instead of practicing, the color guard is grouped at the podium, looking around, just searching for something or someone. No, Garth is still missing. Uh, buy it from store. Oh, okay, that's cool. Why did I thought we were gonna help by kind of stopping Mr. Wiley a little bit? Hey, Sabrina, what's going on? Garth is late. What? Seriously? But he's never late. Exactly, that's why I'm concerned. Uh, guard girls. Where could he be? He's never said he wouldn't be here. Maybe we should ask his roommate. Not necessary. Garth was sent home sick last night. Oh no, is he okay? <clears throat> no, Scarlet, he got bird flu. Bird flu? Swine flu, I don't know, some kind of flu. But he seemed fine over the weekend. Came on real fast, it wasn't a pretty sight. Could it risk inviting more band members at such a critical time, so I had his parents come pick him up. Oh. But he's been running all over practice, was what will we do without him? I guess running the practice falls to you, Sabrina, until yeah, he gets back. Wow. Well. Awesome. Yep, let's all hope I, he gets well soon. In the meantime, give it, a, give it your all in practice. It's shitty, it's, it's yes, sir. It's We're learning to the drill to Mercury it's today. It's a pit feature. We'll probably start on the closer Jupiter tomorrow. Hey. Hey, you're not participating in Beach Day? Huh? Beach Day? Um, it's Spirit Week. Oh, I guess that explains all of the bathing suits. Yep. You look great, by the way. Like a cool, refreshing jug of iced tea. <laughs> Was that a compliment? Yep, iced tea's the best. <laughs> well, thanks. You look good, too. Even if it's your usual look, it works for Beach Day, especially the shark tooth necklace. Oh, this? He pinches it between his fingers and holds it up for me to get a better look. So cool, is it real? Oh yeah, funny story. <laughs> you bet. In fact, there's a funny story behind this. Oh no, here we go. Yeah. Shoot. 
out of time. You can tell me later. Let's go. Everybody here. Um, a scammy crowd for band crowd of band kids. Actually, it looks like a number of kids are missing this morning. But has a lot of them. Oh well, that means they get to miss out on what we're doing next, and that's their loss. This didn't happen last time. I have a fun activity to start off our second week in band camp. Fun as in your kind of fun or our kind of fun. Same difference. <laughs> Not necessarily. For example, you might think three run-throughs with a row in a row is fun, but we don't. Enough! You're wasting daylight. What is that? What is the activity, Mr. Wiley? Trust falls. Trust falls? That's right. As a band, we gotta foster trust, to trust in ourselves, and trust in each other. So grab a partner from your section and get ready to fall backwards into their arms. This didn't happen last time, I don't think. Everyone begins pantering up, partnering up. I'm left standing on the sidelines, sectionless, and thus partnerless. My high spirits lower just a bit. Come be my partner. Oh, but I'm not in your section. We're the drum line and you're the drum major, remember? He's right, Scarlet. There's a special connection between the center snare drummer and the, the drum major. You have the trust. You have to trust in each other. <laughs> the center snare? But that's Aaron. Peter, I said partner up with your section. Leave your brother alone. I know what you're plotting. <laughs> Mr. Bradley rushes off, leaving me to my decision. Come on over here. Ah, uh, I can choose to do it with Aaron. Okay, I'm with Doug though. I can't. Can I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Mm, I want to see what happens. I'm gonna save. Oh shoot, I just want to save on top of this and see what happens, just in case I need to go back. I want to see what happens! Okay, but I'm going to do it with Aaron like Mr. Wiley suggested. Okay, I understand. Oh, he, uh -oh. Said, he said you're going to do it with me, are you? Ew, don't put it like that. I didn't put it any differently than you did. He holds out his arms, motioning for me to turn around. I do so. Here, go. You better not let me fall. You can trust me. I certainly hope so. I close my eyes and let myself fall backwards, expecting Aaron's hands to stop my momentum. Momentum instead. Ouch! My back collides with the ground. That really hurt. I sit up, rubbing the back of my head. Whoops. What a jerk! The drumline is in hysterics. <laughs> Did you see her eat dirt, man? <laughs> that was hilarious. Aaron, I thought I could trust you. I guess he's not wrong. Hey, man. Oh! <gasps> Doug approaches Aaron, squaring his shoulders and towering over him. <laughs> that wasn't cool. It was an accident, right? I would hope so, otherwise that means you dropped me on purpose. See, Doug, an accident. How the heck am I supposed to have an ex accident? He doesn't look too happy. Okay. <laughs> Doug! Oh my god. Oh, it was an accident. Okay. It wasn't that hard to convince him. Okay, you're trying to fall into me, Aaron. Um, no thanks. I'm good. Come on, you can trust me. No, we should switch partners. After all, marching band is a unit. Looks like I won't be getting an opportunity for revenge. Oh, shoot. Uh, ouch. What the hell, man? You let me eat dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, bro. Not my fault. You need to lose weight. <laughs> I do not. I'm all muscle. You got you got wimpy noodle arms. I do not. Yeesh, what, it, what was Mr. Wiley thinking with this exercise? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to my um. Back to this. I'm just doing it. I just wanted to see what happened with Aaron. I jog my way over to the drum line where Doug is waiting with open arms. Do you want to go first or should I? Ooh, look at the two lovebirds. It's like a relationship exercise for them. If one of them drops the other, it's over. Trust me. <laughs> There's no way I'll drop her. Come on, Scarlet. We'll show them. Turn around. I guess I'm going first. I turn around and take a deep breath. I can feel I can feel the drum line watching us. Don't let me down, Doug. I've got you. Pull into my arms. Excuse my eyes shut, try not to blush. How can he say that so casually? I don't think he even realizes it when he says stuff like that. Go already! 
Vain. I let myself fall backwards for one long second. I'm weightless and let out a tiny scream, then strong arms catch me. Gotcha. Then he doesn't stop there. Doug lifts me right off the ground and holds me high up like a baby lion. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Good job, Doug. Uh, you can put me down now. He does. My turn. He whirls around and flops backwards. Oh, Doug, wait! I barely managed to stop him from crushing me with all of my strength. I push him up right. It's like stopping a collapsing tower from falling. I did it too. The relationship was a success. I mean, the trust exercise. You did it. I'm proud of you. He pats my head and I can't help but smile. Oh, that was a cute moment. Uh, after trust falls, Mr. Marley addresses the band and tells us what to expect this week. Bring it in. I know this is a week to have fun and be a little goofy, but we still have to make the most of the time. We only have five days left until we return to reality. Ugh, don't remind me. Let's go. Well, until then, we're gonna eat, breathe, and sleep, Ben, and never stop getting better. Yeah, Everyone, cheers. Be energized by yesterday's break. We tackle a long-winded basic session with fervor. Mr. Wiley's pretty good about giving us water breaks today. I feel optimistic it's gonna be a good week. Okay, come get the drill for the pit. Uh, wait, okay, section leaders, come get the drill for the pit. Uh, oh my God, the pit. The pit feature. <laughs> They're right over there loitering the end zone. I completely forgot about them. Have they been hanging out there this whole time? Poor Marion. Mr. Wiley seems to notice them right when I do. What are you all still doing here? Go up behind the potties and get to practicing. But, uh, yes, sir. She, she leaves looking like she's going to throw up. I think she I might too. When put up your instruments aside, we're going to add some spice to what we already know. Everyone does as he says. Dog! Do you play a wind instrument? No, pick up your drum and get back in line. He has the band go to the beginning of the show, where there are a lot of holds. Oh, we're adding poses to the show. I always love doing this. For this part, I want all of you to pose like- like Roman gods. Look powerful, look intense. Oh! We can pick our own poses? Cool. He claps his hands back behind his- He claps his hands behind his back and twists them in a way that no human should be capable of. Oh god. Oh god! I find it funny how I'm really close to some of the reactions that the character makes. Pop-Tart! Pop-Tart, stop! Yeah. Ask the sane part of your mind if that's something you should do next time you're tempted to do it. S sorry. <laughs> Tom. Tom. Huh? Roman gods do not dab- <laughs> Dabbing really is what's dabbing for a pose. Sorry. He begins experimenting with various anime poses instead. That's funny. Everyone should take a look at Peter. That's the pose of a god if I ever saw one. It's true. Whatever can I say? Being a god comes pretty naturally to me. He's such a jerk. I watch everyone else try out poses. Samuel's looking pretty cool down on one knee, as though gazing down throughout the heavens like surveying his kingdom. Clark, meanwhile, wields his imaginary clarinet like a spear or a trident. Blues are trying to coordinate some kind of group pose. I can hear them calling each other goddesses. Oh my god. I feel a little left out. For my own amusement, I pick out a pose I would do in my head. Yes, that's the one. I look like such a badass. All right. Okay, let's try putting this with the show. Drumline playing only. I count off the drum start up, but Mr. Wiley immediately cuts them off. Doug! Of course. Doug stands with his arms and legs spread wide, holding his drumsticks up almost heroically. He looks pretty proud of himself. <laughs> yeah? The drums are not supposed to be posing right now, you're supposed to be playing. Oh, oh, I wanted to do a cool pose. I feel your pain, Doug. <laughs> For the entire morning practice, I nurse a I nurse a ball of nerves in my stomach. I keep expecting Mr. Wiley to wander over to visit the pit kids and dissolve into a screaming fit, but he never does. I can't see them, but I assume they're all sitting behind the porta potties wondering what to do with themselves, probably feeling as sick as I do. But nothing happens. Mr. Wiley stays on the football field directing the winds. Next thing I know, practice is over. After packing up, I wind up wandering over to see the pit. <clears throat> Are you kidding me? Did that really just happen? Sorry? Wow. Mr. Wally didn't find us out. I'd be insulted if I wasn't so relieved. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. Is it? Yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe you could go to the rest of the band camp without getting found out. <laughs> You're right, it is kind of funny. Really? I mean, I didn't expect you to agree, agree with me. <clears throat> well, I'm a bit- I'm a little bit sick of crying over it constantly. I might as well laugh. Ah, guilt, my old friends. It hurts. I suppose. I'll continue my search. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, God. Time for my lunch. I'll sit with my friends today. Where's your other half? Uh... Hey. 
Ew! <laughs> he said there's my little mom and pop. I don't like that. <laughs> Doug sits down in the seat. I saved from I saved for him. His plate piled high with food. Muffin top. <laughs> You're calling me fat? No, he's not. He's just trying to be sweet. He's just a little dense sometimes. He said, "LOL." <laughs> he's just not the brightest, the brightest in, in the in, in the bunch. Okay, he's just doing his best. It's embarrassing, but I'm gonna go along with it. <sighs> There's my. Uh, there's my favorite chocolate donut with sprinkles. I, is, is that a blush? Is he blushing? I was wondering where you were. <laughs> the blushing laugh. Oh my gosh, look at him laugh. He's so happy. I think I just threw up in my mouth. Oh, they're just jealous because their relationship is falling apart. And yes, I'm calling them out because Peter sucks. I think I just threw up in my mouth. <laughs> That's disgusting, Peter. I'm not kissing you for the rest of the day. Wait, what? Oh, because he said I think I just threw up in my mouth. Yeah. I ignore them and so does Doug, who continues to smile to himself. Mm, the band is having sectionals, so I wander the buildings as per usual, just making sure everyone's doing their job. <laughs> the heck? What's going on? Get it off, get it off! I can't, bro. It's stuck. Like, what are you two doing here? You should be at sectionals. Jem and Jem return to face me, their eyes wide with horror, but nothing seems to be out of place. It looks to me like they're just goofing off as usual. I must start commanding Glare and fix them in it. Get going. Aaron is waiting for you. Neither say anything. Instead, they both raise their fists, clutching a drumstick in each hand. What? They open their fists, but instead of falling to the ground, the drumstick stays stuck to their skin. <laughs> What am I looking at? Some kind of magic trick? Our drums got super glued to our hands! Excuse me? Don't tell Mr. Wiley, please. We can't have this. I can't believe I'm going to have the to live the rest of my life with drumstick for hands. They'll start calling me Edward Drumstick Hands. My name not even Ed my name's not even Edward. <laughs> That's enough. You're not going to be super glued to your drumsticks forever. Come with me quickly. <clears throat> Um, I drag the drummers back to my room and bring out a bottle of nail polish remover. That's so stupid. The hell, I don't wear nail polish, they're dumb. This chick has lost it. No, I have not lost it. This will dissolve the glue, but make sure you wash it off afterwards. They try to snatch the bottle from me, but their drumstick hands hinder them from getting a grip and they wind up knocking it out of my hands. Hey, geez, you're lucky that didn't break. Here. I wind up having to rub them, rub the remover on the skin for them. Ew, that's disgusting. Oh yeah, that feels good. Your hands are so soft. Ew, please stop talking. Why would you even bring nail polish remover to band camp? To drown ticks? I hate ticks. Damn girl, you savage. <laughs> oh, there, you're free. Throw up their hands looking very relieved. Bro, let's go. Everyone's gonna be pissed if we ran the meet again. They run off without so much as a thank you. That's rude. You're welcome. Wait a second, how did they get their hands glued to their drumsticks in the first place? I forgot to ask. Oh, well, knowing them, they were probably doing something idiotic. Probably. The evening blurs pass, and eventually it's time for our last practice of the day. I can't believe we made it this far without Mr. Wiley finding out about the pit. I hope our luck continues to hold. And I just jinxed it by saying that. I'm on the podium con to conduct the band tonight, but there's a lot of long lulls, lulls in between sets as Mr. Wiley works with the various sections. Do I stand there, spacing out until I feel someone watching me. I catch Doug's eye from across the field. Aww. When I do, his eyes light up and his smile broadens. I smile back, slightly embarrassed, and give him a little wave. He raises a drumstick and twirls it in what I think is an effort to impress me. Instead, he accidentally launches it into the air and it smacks the drummer in the face. <laughs> Ouch, what the hell, dude? I can put my face to hide my laughter as Mr. Wiley calls for a reset. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the practice drags on at snail's pace. When I'm not doing anything on the podium, I can't help but listen towards the back of the field where the drum line is. Dude. Don't you think the Blue Mountain football coach kind of looks like a mole? Is that a bird? Focus. Doug, shut up and get set. Whoa! What kind of bird is that? It's flying towards the lake. It has a long neck like a giraffe. Whoa. Doug. I struggle to hide my smile, but I stay focused on rehearsal. Everyone, get set. 
Oh no, pretty good job so far tonight. Everyone set up top for Mercury. It's time to piece together the pit yeah, feature. Yeah. Woohoo, oh, wait. Let's go. Pit, get over here. My stomach so drops, I can feel... My stomach drops, I can feel Doug's horror-stricken eyes on me, but I can't look at him. My eyes are fixed on the distant porta potty shielding the instrumentless pit from view. Uh, there's a long pause. One by one, the pit files out from behind the potties onto the field. Marion in the lead. Mr. Wiley goes to meet them, a firm frown and confusion on his face. I can see, I can see his lips moving towards a voice... To voice a question, I don't have to hear it to know what he's asking. Yeah. Marion answers him. Mr. Wally takes a step back, stricken with this new information, and now... And I know there's no going back from what we did. Not no now. Slowly, he makes his way back to the front of the field. The pit instruments seem to have gone missing. What? We can't hear you from back here. The pit instruments have gone missing! What? Even Clark? The hell? Whoever did this, you better confess right now. This is not a very funny joke. Oh no. I feel- I felt like I was going to be sick earlier, but that was nothing. Now I feel like I'm going to start projectile vomiting. I try looking as innocent as possible, scanning my fellow band members with wondering eyes that beg to know who could have possibly done such a terrible thing. The instruments down. We're doing a sweep of the camp and we're not going to rest until we find these instruments. But Mr. Wiley, I told you we already looked everywhere. Possible. Obviously, you didn't look hard enough for us. You would have found the instruments, Marion. Also, I'm very disappointed you didn't come to me about this sooner. I'm so sorry. What are you all dilly-dallying for? Get to searching. We abandon our practice to start looking, scurry down from the podium to make my way through the dispersing crowd towards Doug. What are we... I bet someone stuck them in the woods. Let's go look there. I grab his hand and pull him along with me. No one follows us good. This is all my fault. Darn right it is. Not all your fault. No, Doug, it's my fault as much as it is yours. Don't take all the blame on yourself. I swear, if I get a bad ending from this, this is gonna be stupid. It's okay, I'll confess to Mr. Wiley. It might get me kicked out of the band, but at least you'll get to stay. Come on, Doug! No one's getting kicked out of the band, especially not you. So what do we do? I, I don't think we should tell him, especially with how angry he is at the moment. Then when could be a good time to tell him? When he calms down? Maybe. We'll use our best judgment. I'm still getting triple murdered. Triple? Uh, Mr. Marian. Mr. I Wiley, Aaron, Marion. I shudder. I guess we'll just have to hope whoever gets uh, gets to us first makes it quick. I think Marion would show some mercy. Trust me. Uh, no way she'd drag it out and make it as painful as possible. Trust me. <laughs> what about Aaron? You make it as humiliating as possible. We both first laughed. That sound echoes. The sound echoes through the dark woods around us. We better get to looking. Doug, do you think anyone will look in the lake? Oh. The lake? Is that where the pinstripes are? No! <laughs> yeah! Clever. Mm, so that's why you wouldn't let me say hello to the water snake the other day. It never existed to begin with. With this information, I could be a hero and save the day. Pop Tart, where did you come from? If you two are hiding to hide, if you two are trying to hide the secret, you'll want to look less suspicious than running straight into the woods while everyone else wanders around aimlessly. Threaten, bribe, reason? Maybe bribe. Hmm, we'll do reason. Yeah. Popter, please, please don't tell anyone what you heard. That you hid the pit instruments in the lake? Yes, that. Why? Why would you do that? Maybe we should explain to him what's going on. I tearfully tell Popchart everything that happened, that we accidentally broke the pit instruments and we didn't know what to do. We panicked and now we're in far too deep. So it wasn't a prank, that's good to know. Are you going to tell Mr. Wiley? No. I decided not to, that's a decision you'll have to make on your own. I feel as if the weight has been lifted in my chest, a small one, but still. Really? You're not gonna tell? You promise? Promise. He holds out his pinky before I can take it. Doug steps forward and pounds Pop Tart, and pounds Pop Tart on the back. Buddy. You're a real pal. Ow, that hurts. Sorry, Popsicle. Uh... Something wrong? Oh. Oh, I was wondering where I recognized you from. You were in my English class last year. You You're the guy who shouted in the middle of the class. Did they just have sex while the teacher was reading us Shakespeare? <laughs> He was 
say something like that? <laughs> Doug, you did it. And the teacher was like, thank you, Doug. Moving on. He's a legend among my grade. <laughs> yep, that was me. I really need a filter. Anyways, we better start looking for the missing pit instruments where you think they might be. He pretends to check behind a nearby tree. Oh, he's good. I don't know, but this is a good place to start as any. The hours drag on, the moon rises higher and higher into the sky as my eyelids dip lower and lower. It's well past midnight when Mr. Wiley finally gathers us all and calls off the search. Get to bed, we still have practice tomorrow. But what about I'll figure it out what to do with I'll figure out what to do with you tomorrow. Mr. Wiley stalks towards his cottage, shoulders rigged with tension. I don't care. I don't dare approach him. Uh, Doug and I hold hands all the way back to my room. I'm pretty sure my palms are sweating, but Doug doesn't seem to care if, if he notices. Night, Doug. Sweet dreams. Night. Yeah, the thing that has a dog to my surprise, he takes me in his arms. Oh, he's so warm. That's our dog. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. I hope you're right, Doug. Aww. I feel safe with his strong arms slightly crushing my body. <laughs> he squeezes me just a bit tighter, holding on longer than I expected him to. Yeah, it's all too soon when he pulls away and departs for his room, but not before casting me one last reassuring smile. That's crazy! I don't get it! How does an entire pit go missing? It seems impossible. <laughs> right? <laughs> I sure hope someone finds the instruments or else Mr. Wiley is going to be in a crappy mood for the rest of the week. Crappy might be the understatement of the century. But there's no time to dwell on it. As soon as I'm in my bed, I'm out like a light. I really hope everything works out. Works itself out. Somehow. Okay. We survived another day. <laughs> Hopefully. We can make it to the end. Repercussions. Oh no. I feel like this is gonna be bad. Time for another fun filled day. Oh god. I need to speak with you. Mr. Wiley, what's wrong? I found the missing pit instruments. My heart nearly stops. How? No, no. how could he have already found them? Words I refuse to come to me. I freeze and stare at Mr. Wiley in horror, waiting for him to speak again. I know it was you! Oh, no. I got caught! What? How could you lie to me? I trusted you. I expect more from you from my drum major. It wasn't my fault. I wanted to wail, but I can't throw Doug under the bus, too. I wait for Mr. Wiley's judgment in stunned silence. Pack your bags. You're done? No, wait, Mr. Wiley, I can sp explain. Go home. Is this a dream? He's gone in the blink of an eye, leaving me shaking in the end zone. No, it can't be over. I can't be kicked out of marching band. How did everything go so wrong so quickly? Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart must have told him. Wrong? Is there a true one? I told him. This is a dream. This is stupid. Doug? How could you? <laughs> he laughs cruelly. The sound pierces my heart and my eyes well up. This isn't oh, the Doug yes. I know. Doug, what's wrong with you? You're acting strange. Ew, what the heck? No, Scarlet, this is the real me. You mean you never liked me? All of that kindness was just an act? <laughs> kindness? Is that what you call it? Then the Doug I knew was a lie? You really thought all this time that someone could be that stupid? How is that possible? You should have known it was all an act. Unless... Maybe you were the stupid one all along. No! You can't break free from my eyes and run down my cheeks. Why would you do this? What did I ever do to you? Call it revenge. For what? For stealing my hands? <laughs> the dream! I knew it! That was stupid! I wake up with a gasp. Oh, thank goodness. It was all a dream. Doug isn't out to get me and I haven't been kicked out of bed. <laughs> However, the pit instruments are still at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> I sure wish- oh, no. Wait, what happened? Uh, I, I sure wish that was a dream too, I sigh sadly. Bad dream? Yeah. I'd like to forget it as soon as possible. <laughs> well, you better get moving. Don't want to be late. Right. When I get to the field, I spot Doug hanging out with the pit, who all look rather paler than usual. He's innocently chattering away to Marion, who stares at him without saying anything. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> I like his, like, idle chat. Like, yeah, that's what happens. And now half of the Hawaiian shirts in my collection don't fit anymore because I'm getting too big. The sleeves are too tight. And some of the long-sleeved ones come up to just past my elbow and my forearms get really cold. He rolls back his shirtless sleeve and feels his bul- <laughs> He feels back his shirtless sleeve and feels his bulging muscle almost in an inquisitive manner. 
<laughs> Sometimes I feel like my biceps are going to burst out of my shirt. <laughs> that would be funny. Like something you might see in a movie, you know? Wow. Amazing. Isn't it? I can't listen to this any longer. Mary just walks away shaking her head, but Doug seems unfazed. As she passes by me, she halts briefly and locks me in her intense stare. Ugh. As I listen to that moron prattle on, my logical brain acknowledges that what he is saying is completely mindless and uninteresting. Huh? And yet, because of his oh, I hate when I skip. And yet, because of his attractive appearance, I hang on his every word. Incredible. Marion continues on her way, looking disappointed in herself and life in general. I don't know whether to laugh or feel some semblance of pity. Suddenly, Doug spots me standing nearby. When he does, his entire face lights up, and he comes bounding over. Hey. Doug, it's so great to see you with two hands. Yeah, I love having two hands. Oh, hey, and happy two, happy twin day. I remembered this time. I smile in relief when I see him, his innocent face without a trace of guile in it. He would never report me to Mr. Wiley, even if I did steal his hands. Good job, Doug. Yeah, Who are you twinning with? My bass drum. Check it out. Doug whips out a bandit's mask and dons it with enough enthusiasm to reproduce a, a resounding slap as it That's meets true. his skin. <laughs> That's funny. Ta-da! Nice. Wait, is that a decal? Yup, makes me look mysterious, huh? Super mysterious. I almost don't recognize my own boyfriend underneath the mask. <laughs> so who are you twinning with? Susie? Huh? Who? Let's go! Oof. No, enough talk. There's going to be absolutely no talking on the field today. Now everyone run a lap! Uh... What? But practice hasn't even started yet. Run a lap, and when you're finished, go straight to stretching. It's so early, not even everyone has shown up yet, but there's nothing we can do. We run a lap, and others join us in jogging as they show up. But heads, it's 10 minutes past 8 a.m. You should have been here 25 minutes ago. To be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. To be late is to start running. There's no talking, just frustrated grimaces in our own right, ra raged, ragged breath, breathing, whatever he says. Time for stretching. As for you, Pitt, <laughs> you'll keep running laps until I figure out what to do with you. Oh, no. This is just awful. Susie, shh, no talking, remember? Hmm? As the stretches, we start working on the beginning of Jupiter. I pass out the drill in silence. This is usually one of my favorite parts of band camp, but with Mr. Wiley in, terrible, in a terrible mood, all of the fun is sucked out of it. I'm so out of shape. I don't have much to do. I watch the pit continue their struggle. Their jogging slows into walking. I can see sweat shining on their foreheads. Since they don't march, they're lacking in the stamina the rest of the band has, and it shows. My guilt draws me to the water cooler on the edge of the field. Um, I fill up as many cups as I can and carry... I, as I can, as I can carry and run that out to them, not caring what Mr. Wiley will say. Luckily, he's too distracted keeping some confused rookies in line. Hey, these are for you. After putting them through this, I feel the urge to be as nice to them as possible. I give each member of the pit a cup of water. They go put down gratefully, all except for... Oh, God, I keep pressing space bar. They go put down gratefully, all except for Marin, who's staring at me. What? I was just thinking. Oh no, about what? You're not as bad as I thought. Aw. Huh? I suppose. I judged you without really knowing you. I thought you were self-absorbed since you're the drum major, though I thought you didn't care about anyone but yourself. It sounds like you're describing last year's drum major. Ugh. Melody didn't care about the band. She cared about Melody. Mr. Savage only picked her because she was popular and flirted with him, if you ask me. No one can say for sure, but I told myself if Mr. Wiley picked me that I wouldn't follow her down follow her down that path. I didn't try out for Jump Ranger to get a popularity boost. I wanted to do everything I can to help the band get better. Uh, so if I came if I came off like Melody Jr. to you, I'm sorry. No, if anything it was my own mistaken precon preconception, I apologize for that. Apology accepted. Well now I know why she hated me. So, friends? Try to hold back my surprise. You want to be friends even though I'm dating your ex? Trust me, there are absolutely no hard feelings there. None whatsoever. Doug wasn't my type and I'm glad the two of you are happy together. I see. Thank you, Marion. I mean, physically, he was totally my type, but I mean, but mentally, just no. Because <laughs> he's an idiot. Mm. Now that I think about it, I'm glad he's with you. Now that he's off limits, I have a reason to stop checking him out. 
<laughs> Duck tends to pull you in. He's got the gravitational pull of Jupiter. Jupiter, shoot! I should be helping on the field. See you later. Have fun. Good luck and thanks for the water. Back on the field, I wander through the ranks of the band, making sure everything looks good while band members find their dots. Hey, Pop Tart, how's it going? Need any help? Thank you. I'm doing well, thank you. Pop Tart! You shouldn't be talking! I pull a sour face and roll my eyes at Pop Tart. He stifles a chuckle. Okay, well, let me know if you need anything. I feel like I need to pay him back somehow for keeping our secret. Hey, what did I just say? I'm going, I'm going. It's a productive practice, but no one enjoys it. We're all really when Mr. Wiley lets us go for lunch. I'm packing up the stuff from my podium when I spot Doug bounding across the field to where the pit is sprawled on the sideline. Are you okay? Are you guys okay? Despite their fatigue, the pit always perks up at the sight of Doug. Uh, aww. He checks over his old section, face full of concern. Apparently, I'm not the only one suffering from guilt. I step down from my podium and walk over. We're fine. Leave us alone. Are you sure? Do you need some water? I told you we're fine. <laughs> oh, mom, stop trying to chase us. Trace away Uncle Doug all the time. <laughs> Uncle Doug? Last year, I was Daddy Doug when mom and I were. Aww. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> now Doug is more like our cool uncle who comes to visit us sometimes. <laughs> Yes, he comes over, eats all our food, then lumbers back to where he came from. <laughs> now, why don't you lumber on over to the dining hall for break, for break so the rest of us can have some peace and quiet. Doug looks a bit disappointed, but he doesn't argue. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See you guys later. Take care of yourselves. You ready? Coming. Let's lumber to the dining hall together. Yes. I wind up eating with the jump line again. Man. Are you again? Me again. You and Doug must be more serious than we thought. This is only our second day together. Oh yeah. Happy two-day anniversary, my little chocolate cannoli. Doug, we thought you preferred men. What? Yeah, what happened to your college boyfriend? Um, what? He didn't tell you, Scarlet? Scandalous. I told you guys that was an accident. I thought he wanted to shoot some hoops. <laughs> Are you talking about the guy who visited your ice cream truck every day? Oh, <laughs> I forgot because he said he had the- he worked there. Jack was my number one customer. The one time I came by, he was saying to Doug, You're so hot, I'm surprised all that ice cream doesn't melt with you in there. <laughs> Wonder how long it took him to come up with that line. I thought he was complimenting my- the truck's coolers. Ooh, Jack's got game. Too bad Doug's a moron. Just so you know, Doug, you probably shouldn't have called him your number one customer every time he came by. <laughs> Shouting that he looked hot and he should buy an ice cream to cool down probably didn't help matters either. <laughs> it's called sales tactics. Whoa, whoa, back up the trucks, Doug. Tell me the story. <laughs> Jack asked if I could if i wanted to hang out so i said yeah you look like a basketball kind of guy so uh, let's shoot some hoops sometimes so we did it was pretty fun afterwards he was like you down to grab a drink and i said i'm so down because you always gotta hydrate after a tough workout you know <laughs> so we walked to some restaurant looking back i guess it was actually a bar oh my god a guy at the door asked me for some id so i gave him my student id and he started laughing at me then Jake, Jack goes, wait, how old are you? What school do you go to? I said, Blue Mountain High School. And Jack just took off. <laughs> he never came back to the ice cream truck after that day. That's funny. <laughs> I didn't know it was a date. <laughs> you got to communicate. You got, wait, he said, you got to communicate. You got to use the D word. What? 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 How else am I supposed to know it's a date? Oh, I was like, D-word? What's the D-word? Um. They never came back to the ice cream truck after that day. Doug said I didn't know it was a date. Doug, you gotta communicate. You gotta use the D-word. They just laugh at it. I said, what? Okay. He didn't know until he told us the story and we enlightened him. Well, I'd say I can't believe it, but since it's you, Doug, I can't. <laughs> oh. You know what that means. Doug is gonna dump your ass once Jack comes back into his life. <laughs> Sucks for you. Hey. Don't talk to her that way. 
You're mad because he's right. That's enough. I don't care if you give me a hard time, but leave Scarlet alone. Aw. Make us. You won't. Whoa, things are getting heated all of a sudden. Doug, it's okay. They're just being idiots like always. I don't like idiots. Oh, God. Whoa. What is that chill I feel? The air seems to have turned cold. We were just joking, Doug. No. Yeah, sorry, bro. There's a dumb fly flying around, huh? Don't apologize to me. Apologize to Scarlet. Yeah. That's right, she's your drum major, so we're the same respect you would show me. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, sorry. I looked to Aaron wonderingly. How do you even get them to show you how did how do you even get them to show you respect in the first place? Eh. Like most people, you have to earn their respect. Despite everything I do for this band, I still haven't earned it. I sigh inwardly. Well, I mean, yeah, obviously Marion didn't respect me until I started being a little more oh, friendly. Man. Man, I sure am thick sometimes, aren't I, Scarlet? I can't believe I accidentally went out with this with some random college guy. Can you? <laughs> Wait, I want to see it. Um, <clears throat> uh, it's kind of funny. I definitely makes for a good story. Yeah, hundred percent. That's funny. <laughs> right. We're all together for her whole rehearsal today, all except for the pit, who are clearly absent. I don't know where they are. Maybe Mr. Wiley is making them search in vain for the instruments. They run most of the practice when we're 15 minutes from the end. Mr. Wiley takes my place on the podium. If you have your music out, put it away. Turn your stands around and get up. We're running the show. Hmm? Well, why are we running it now? I let Mr. Wiley take the reins for 10 minutes. The band plays straight through the show at the end. Hold it. Not everyone is playing. Uh-oh. There's a long silent, no one dares to break it. Remember our little exercise on Saturday? I thought that would be an incentive enough for everyone to buckle down and memorize their music, but no. We remain glued to the spot that we were in a few days ago, stuck, not getting better. I've got it, we need this, uh, what we need is a new incentive. Oh boy. And here it is, if everyone in the band has all of their music memorized by Friday, I will dye my hair in outrageous color. Whoa. <laughs> no way. That's gonna be hilarious. Pop -tart. You better memorize your music, Pop Tart. I'm not finished. If you don't have your music memorized by fr Friday, you will get your hair dyed. Uh -huh. All of us? Not fair. That's child abuse. No, no, just the ones who don't have their music memorized. Mm Pop Tart? Colors are pink, orange, and green. If you're too lazy or inept to memorize your music, start thinking about which one you'd like. <laughs> no way we're gonna do it, right, Ben? So we can dye Mr. Wiley's hair pink. I doubt that's going to happen, but you know what? I'd much rather I'd, I'd much rather it did than didn't. And you know what? While you're at it, show up for practice on time. We haven't had a single rehearsal this week without a butthead. See you all for evening rehearsal. He'd rather have his hair dyed pink just so the band will memorize their music. He really doesn't care. But I'm not so sure about the last part. It seems cruel to dye someone's hair just because they're struggling with one aspect of marching band. What do you think about uh, uh, Aaron and the rest of the drumline surround Doug? Emergency sectional Doug, we're going. No, save me! <laughs> they drag him away. I follow along, partially amused. Listen up, battery. It's time for a pop quiz. Whoever doesn't have everything memorized at this point will be punished. Oh no. Huh? He doesn't have the authority to punish anyone. He's kind of scary, though. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. We'll start with the snares and end with the bass drums. Don't disappoint me. I decide to hang out while the drum line does their thing. I sit in the grass listening to them go through the show piece by piece. I can't help but feel nervous when it comes to Doug's time to perform. <laughs> I see him look my way before he begins. He appears anxious. And why shouldn't he be? This guy is the guy who can't remember names for the life of him. The guy who always gets called out by the band director whenever he misses a beat. <laughs> but I can't show my misgivings. I got to support my boyfriend, right? Uh... Should I be loud or should I give him a determining nod? I'm gonna give him a determining nod. He turns away, focusing on his drum mouth set in thin line. Aaron watches him with... 
and watches him with judgment in his eyes. I take a deep breath and hope for the best. Doug totally winds up nailing it. Oh, yes, thank goodness. The entire drone line does. Wow, they're super impressive under Aaron's instruction. He is indeed a worthy leader. I leap to my feet and applaud as Jupiter draws to a close. Bravo. When the section was over, I run up to Doug and his, as he sets his heavy bass drum on the ground with a huge sigh of relief. Congratulations, Doug. You've come such a long way. I'm so proud. I hug him and he returns it, pressing my face into his chest and squeezing the air from my lungs. I didn't even know I had it memorized. I guess I've done it so many times it comes to me without really thinking about it. Now I just need to get my, my marching down, huh? Yo. You're choking her. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. You're so strong. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I just needed to catch my breath. That was a close one. Those pecs almost suffocated me. <laughs> Congratulations to the rest of you as well. The drum line is amazing. We know. We're the best. The rest of the band pulls their weight. Wiley's hair will be pink by the end of the week. Oh, yeah. Let's go eat. Practice in less than an hour. It's another rowdy meal with the drum line. I should make a point to sit with Susie tomorrow. While I'm headed back to the buffet for dessert, I run into a familiar face. Oh, uh, hey, Marianne. How's your evening going? Oh, she has the makeup on her. Terrible. Huh? I hate everyone. I hate everything. Oh, wait, that's the sister. And here I thought we were becoming friends. I'm so sorry for asking. You will be. Hey. I thought I told you to take that off. <laughs> make me. Hey, Scarlet, want, want me to make you a sundae? I'll call it Doug's Delicious Double Scoop Deluxe Dessert or the, bi <laughs> the Big D for short. <laughs> That's a horrible choice in a name. <laughs> Did I get another concussion? <laughs> no, Doug. You're seeing double because my sister is a pest. I agree. Sabrina's the worst. <laughs> Sabrina's the suggested sister. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm curious. Which of you is the older twin? It doesn't matter who is older. So Sabrina is the older one. <laughs> I'm going to ask out half the guys in the band and get you tons of boyfriends, Mary. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Remember what happened last time you did that? Oh, Doug was... I'm assuming Doug was one of the people. Hi, spicy roll. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's such a cutie. The dog is cuddling in bed. He's so cute. Sabrina scuttles into the cafeteria with Marion hot on her trail, leaving Doug and I to our quest for dessert. So you want to try the big D? <laughs> what? <laughs> Doug's delicious double scoop deluxe dessert. Oh, you know what? Make it a triple. Oh yeah. Yes, I hope you like sprinkles. It's funny. All too oh no. All too soon we're back on the field in the, in the miserable heat for another miserable practice with miserable Mr. Wiley. He spends half the practice pacing back and forth and mumbling to himself. Still no pit. What on earth am I going to do? What will the school say? We don't have the funds to replace all of those instruments. Sweet Jesus, this is something straight out of the tale of the rogue band parent. Sir, you wouldn't happen to know anything about this, would you, Scarlet? I've never heard that story. No, I mean, you don't have any suspicions as to whom might have made off with our pit instruments? Oh, uh, no idea, sir. Maybe the pit did it to get out of practicing. I highly doubt that. Especially with what you've been making them do. I swear I will get to the bottom of this. This isn't over yet. I'm not giving up. He goes to run practice, leaving me with a heavy feeling in my gut. Trebones, are you sure this form is correct? He hasn't yelled at us yet. Maybe we're right. Everyone, please, let's try to keep talking to a minimum. I don't want to risk another blow up. I look to where the pit is running laps once again. Their leg muscles are going to be ripped by the time this week is over. That's it for the announcements. Everyone have a good night. The band trudges wearily back in the direction of the lodge. Hey. Yo, what's up? We didn't get to hang out much today. Want to go chill by the lake? My heart leaps. Oh, you and me right now? Yeah, if you're not too tired. The lake, though. My grandma is thinking of the pit instruments. We can go somewhere else if you want. Man, the lake was such a nice spot. 
No, the lake's fine. Let's go. Okay, good. As we're leaving the field, we spot someone hanging out near the porta potties. <laughs> hey, have either of you seen Marion? Uh, yeah, she's right over there. Marion. Oh no, he fell for Sabrina's trap for asking all the guys out. What do you want? Hey. What happened to her date? Ew, I knew it. This kid is so gullible. <laughs> she looks so angry. Are you kidding me? You've got to be kidding me, Sabrina. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> she charges off, leaving behind a very confused Alex. <laughs> Let's go, Doug. He doesn't even- we don't even tell him anything. Uh, so how- Doug, how long are you gonna wear that mask? Twin day is over. Uh... Sorry, I can't take it off. What? I wanted to take it off at the end of practice, but it really hurt. It felt like I was ripping my skin off. I mean, he was a decal that he put on his face. That's why it hurts. Um... But hey, maybe it's not so bad. People might- I think I'm a superhero and tomorrow's hero day, right? I just gotta look on the bright side. Doug, you're not wearing a decal on your face for the rest of your life. Here, let me help you. <laughs> I reach for him and he flinches. Please don't rip it off, it hurts. Boys have such a low pain tolerance. <laughs> please, please leave it alone. <laughs> Maybe it'll fall off by itself. Doug, I promise I'll be gentle. <laughs> he gets quiet. Don't you trust me? I do. Then let me handle it. He leans down, still looking a little bit nervous. I peer into his eyes reassuringly and place my hand at each corner of his mask. It's time to find out what face lies beneath the mask. <laughs> when you put it like that, it's almost kind of romantic. <laughs> Should and this is where I'm torn with decisions yet again. <laughs> Peel it off gently or just rip it off violently? Mm, okay, look, we're gonna save again. First, I'm gonna rip it off violently and see what happens. In one motion, I ripped that thing off like it's a mother flipping bandage. <laughs> Scream! Doug leaps straight up, clutching at his eyes. That really hurt! Trust me, it would have hurt more to drag it out. It was best you get it your it was best to get your guard down and do it this way. Doug doesn't say anything. I think it hurt. I hurt more than just his skin. We sit down on the grassy bank and I admire the moonlit surface in the water. It's a peaceful scene, but I do not feel peaceful at all. Uh, let me go. <laughs> let me go back and just see what happens if I do it gently. No. Uh, I peel the decal off slowly and gently, rubbing my fingers on the red skin underneath to stifle the pain. Doug grimaces but doesn't pull away. 30 seconds later, the mask is in my hands and Doug's true identity is laid bare for all to see. I don't know what I'd do without you. I tenderly place a hand on his cheek and smile. You'd be wearing a freaking decal on your face for the rest of your life, that's what. <laughs> Doug covers my hand with his. Okay, that was the better option. You're right, thanks a lot for taking care of it. You really are the french fries to my milkshake. Aw, oh, he's so cute. You're welcome. <laughs> Ew, chicken nugget. Let's go and use decals on drums for now on, okay? It's a deal. We sit down on the grassy bank and admire the moonlit surface from the water. It's a peaceful scene, but I do not feel peaceful at all. I wonder if the instruments are still out there. Why wouldn't they be? You think they got eaten by fish? No, no, I'm just paranoid. It feels like something that happened in a dream, or more accurately, a nightmare. Uh, you need to keep a positive attitude. One day we'll look back at this and laugh. The day we can laugh about all this feels very far away. I'm telling you, it's all about the memories you make. The memories? I tear my eyes away from the lake and look at Doug. He's smiling at, out across the water, its shimmering surface reflects in his eyes. That's what we take with us when this is all over. We'll all eventually move on to new places, but we'll all we'll always carry the memories we made together in our hearts. Huh? This got so much deeper than I was expecting. No matter what happens, you gotta grab that bear by the teeth and live each day to the fullest. You mean grab the bull by the horns? You can grab whatever animal you want, so long as you make sure you're living your life. <laughs> kind of ironic coming from the guy with the worst memory in the bed, huh? Aw, his grin widens and I feel myself beginning to smile too. You're right, I think we will laugh about this one day, but first we have to survive band camp. <laughs> Easy peasy, there's only three days left after all, then we get to go home. With a happy sigh, Doug casually leans against me. I do the same, resting my head against his shoulder. 
Despite our circumstances, despite being out here in the middle of the night, I feel so safe when I'm with Doug. What's the first thing you're going to do when we get home? Give my mom a hug, but I'd like to take you out on a date before school starts if you're not busy. I grin in a test in a t in a t in a tongue twister. I grin in anticipation. Will, where will you be taking me? Everywhere. Oh, one for spon spontane spontaneity, are you? I'll let my heart lead the way. Most likely it will lead us to ice cream. What about yours? <laughs> ice cream sounds pretty good to me, which I <sighs> my god. Ice cream sounds pretty good to me. I could go for a refreshing scoop of mint chocolate chip right now. Which flavor is your favorite? All of them. <laughs> he rests his arm around, around my shoulders, and for a few minutes, we just sit in silence, enjoying one another's company. His muscular body radiates heat, and I can't help but lean into his warmth to escape the chill night, chill night air. Like this, I can almost forget about- <laughs> Like this, I can almost forget our horrible secrets. <laughs> As if reading my thoughts, Doug breaks the silence. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. Trust me. Aww. When he says it with such confidence, I can't help but believe him. I really hope so. I hope things work out this time around. Seems too soon when we bid each other goodnight and head back to our rooms. As I close my eyes and surrender myself to sleep in my head, I'm still sitting by the lake with Dove and folded in his warmth. It hasn't shown like a close up like picture with the two of us. Only one was with the The only one was with the um me being in the bass drum. Good vibes and bad vibes. Oh no. Looks like it's going to be another hot one. You're telling me. You know, I feel like we haven't really hung out lately. Really, we've been hanging out all the time. We're kind of stuck here together. No, silly. You haven't been eating lunch with us. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. It's fine, but let's make sure we remedy that, okay? I won't let you forget about me in light of your new boyfriend. I promise I won't. How are things going, by the way? It feels like you got together with Doug so fast and out out of nowhere oh my god there's a stupid fly in here you said illegitimate <laughs> shut up okay only i can say that and it's illiterate how are things going by the way it feels like you two got together you got together with doug so fast and out of nowhere you said crazy oh no here we go again it really does the whole band camp has been a whirlwind of events are you getting to know him better Definitely. He's really fun to be with, and our relationship feels so natural. I feel like I've known him much longer than I actually have, maybe because he's such an open book. And he's so casual about pet names and holding my hand, he's really affectionate. <laughs> I trail off, blushing and feeling a bit giddy as, a, as I list all of Doug's positive qualities. Oh, you're making me jealous. I wish I... <laughs> you're making... Yeah. I can't speak anymore. I wish Eugene was a little more affectionate. I'm gonna go find him. Have fun with your boyfriend. Speaking of my boyfriend, where is he? Oh my god! <laughs> How do you look? <laughs> like, I don't care. I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> oh my god! That's, that's literally what she says the character too. Huh? <laughs> Doug, you look... <laughs> what is this? My old middle school jersey. I wore it for school spirit day. First off, today is a hero day. And second, what were you thinking? My bad. <laughs> I guess I could go change. I'm I'm sorry, I just I can't. I took off I take off running, I can hear a commotion break out behind me as I leave the field behind. Dog! <laughs> Doug, what in the name of all that is holy are you wearing? <laughs> Get changed. <laughs> now you're gonna be late for practice. I'm so sick of buttheads. If you kids can't show up to practice on time dressed appropriately, then I'm canceling Spirit Week. <laughs> What's up far enough? I let it all out. <laughs> Sounds like a donkey having a seizure. <laughs> Someone's back here sitting on the ground in the shade of a potty. Marion? Oh, I should have known it was you. I guess I just look like the kind of girl that would have the laugh of a seizure-prone beast of a burden. Hey, you're wearing a trash bag for a cape too. We had the same idea. 
I flashed my trash bag cape in the breeze. He said illegitimate again. Shut up. You're you're illiterate, illegitimate, whatever. I flapped my I flapped my trash bag cape in the breeze in an effort to distract Marion from her tears, but she doesn't look amused. I'm trash. Oh no! Why would you, why do you say that? I lost the pit instruments. I'm the pit captain. They call me mom. I'm supposed to take care of them, but now they're all suffering because of me. Marion, you're not the one who lost the pit instruments. Ugh. Yes, I am. I decided we should break for lunch. I left them unattended. They're gone because of me. They're gone because... I saw all of my words. <clears throat> because of whoever hid them, it's not your fault. She sniffles and doesn't say anything. I can tell she doesn't believe me. Here. I offer her my hand. What? Instead of being trash all alone over here, why don't you come be trash with the rest of the band? <laughs> okay. She takes my hand and I help her up together with our trash bag capes flapping in the breeze. We return to the field with our heads held high. There you are. Begin stretches. Marion, I want to speak with you. You do? Oh, God. Yes, I believe I have finally found a purpose for my useless pit. Marion cringes next to me. I give her a swift pat on the shoulder and leave to do my duty. It isn't long until we find out the assignment Mr. Wally has bestowed upon the pit kids. Oh no, guess what everyone? The pit have now become water children? Water children? Correct. The pit will move about during our rehearsal, making sure everyone is staying hydrated. That way we won't have to take breaks. What? Isn't it a great idea? I thought so. That sounds horrible. Uh, We're not getting breaks anymore? How do you expect us to function? Well, I suppose it's a good idea in theory, but in the long run it could become detrimental to our- all right. I knew you all would agree with me. We're making use of every minute. Now let's get to work. You said whoa? Well, what? Our protests don't seem to reach Mr. Worley's ears. Whining turns into muttered complaints as we forced, as we're forced to turn our attention to learning drill. I'm a water child. This is my life now. It's better than jogging around the fields countless times, right? She neither agrees nor disagrees. Ugh. I'm tired. I hate this. What's up with Mr. Wiley's creepy attitude? I think I liked it better when he was angry. Hey, Marion, won't you be a deer and bring me a water? <laughs> Oof, I'm thirsty. Bring me one too. I'm thirsty as hell. So rude. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone on the field needs to shut it. We're trying to get stuff done. Maybe I should try. Ugh, maybe I should try talking to Mr. Wiley. Sir, a word, please. Not now. This is a difficult set, and I want to make sure we get it right, lest someone gets hurt. A number of rookies are in danger of losing teeth to the guards' rifles. It'll only take a minute. Fine. What? I flinch. Um, don't you think no breaks is a little harsh? The band is going to become run down. Our work ethic might suffer if we're not too tired. This isn't the army. So long as we have enough water in our tanks, we're going to be just fine. Now get on your podium where you belong. But. No buts go. Mr. Wiley never spoke. Mr. Wiley's never spoken to me like that. I feel like I'm one of the troublemakers. I don't deserve this. <laughs> then again, after what happened to the pit instruments, I do deserve it. I drag my feet back to the podium. Sure. At least you tried. Marion is relaxing in the sparse shade my pro podium provides. Mr. Wiley snapping at me really got to me. It's hard to do my job with much enthusiasm after that. Cornelius, does this look like a curve to you? The dog's asleep. Cornelius, does this look like a curve to you? No, it's a line, so conform to it. I know, I know. If you know, then do it already. Cornelius, his parents must have hated him when he was born. <laughs> I almost snicker. The stench of, stench of burning freshmen is in the air. Perhaps I should put a few of the water children on sunscreen duty. Marion's snarky commentary is what's getting me through this practice, honestly, until suddenly. Dog! Holy fruit! You just about killed me. Did you, did you see me standing there? <laughs> oh, it's kind of hard to see around this bass drum, but vision is overrated anyways, right? No, no, it is not, Douglas. Vision is very important. It's just Doug. Fine. Do you want to know why you made my made drumline this year? Just Doug? You want to know why? <laughs> uh, Because you're the only one who could carry bass five. Oh. So don't go getting a big head and thinking everyone's going to get out of your way just because you're the one of the biggest bass drums. You know what? Something has been 
boggling my mind for a while now. If I'm carrying base 5 and there are only 4 bass drums in the band, what happened to the last drum? I'm impressed you know what boggling means to means. I'm impressed you know what boggling means to use in this sentence, Doug, and you don't want to know what happened to the last drum. So I was right, Doug needs to be more careful or else death by Doug. Death by Doug. That sounds like a band name or an ice cream flavor. <laughs> kind of does, doesn't it? I bet you'd like to taste of that ice cream, wouldn't you? <laughs> you already tasted that ice cream, so you can tell me how it was. You! <laughs> okay, I deserve that. Hi! Marianne, I'm thirsty. Can you bring me some water? <laughs> Her sister is so rude. I'm serious. Sibling side is in my future. <laughs> What's up with, like, the siblings in this band and, call and calling out sibling aside? Like, <laughs> it's so normal. She leaves to do her job and we slog our way through the rest of practice. <laughs> Time for lunch. Oh, it's Aaron. I don't know why, but if I'm a little bit intimidating, maybe it's because I've gotten to know him over these past few days. Or maybe it's because I realized that I haven't gotten to know him at all despite being around him more. Hey, Aaron, you look like you're deep in thought. I'm a bit confused. About what? Sabrina asked me out yesterday, but she was obviously pretending to be Marion, so I'm not sure if it was serious. Oh, really? It was obviously not serious. Jeez, just how many people did Sabrina ask out? I'm not interested. Pretty poor attempt at a prank. Either way, I'm not interested. I'm going to practice my drums. You're not eating lunch today? He leaves without replying. Yeesh. Whatever, I was going to eat with Susie and the others today anyways. Here we are. They're gonna take our seats. Oh, they're back. It's the happy couple. Hey. We missed you. How's life with the walking beefcake? Ew. Huh? Who's the walking beefcake? <laughs> you are, sweetie. She leans across the table and starts feeling up on Doug's bicep. Ew, no, ma'am. You could do that to any other guy, but like, <laughs> like on another girl's boyfriend, no. Ah. Uh. She's again, again, they have a bad relationship. She's just trying to make him jealous. Oh, Peter, his are way bigger than yours. Peter's just silent. Uh, what does she think she's doing? Uh, I'm gonna tell her to step off. Excuse me, don't you have a boyfriend? Leave mine be. I shoo her hands away, then loop my arm through Doug's. Getting a little overprotective, aren't we? Not when you're feeling him up. I'm not. Just keep your hands to yourself, like we learned in elementary school. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, I think it's adorable. Sure. She drops the issue, I glare at her and squeeze Doug's toned bicep a bit tighter. That's right, you better leave my boyfriend be. Out of the corner of my eye, I see Doug sigh with relief. It's awesome! Um, so how are things in the drumline, Doug? They're great, remembers all our music and everything. Woohoo! Well, that's amazing. I hope the rest of the band follows their lead. Too bad. Ugh, it's too bad about what happened to the pit. What do you guys think? Who do you guys think took the instruments? Oh no, why did we have to have this conversation? My mind rushes to make something up and distract everyone. No idea. Oh, but did you hear some rookies got hazed last night in the craziest way? Hey, I never forced them to sleep on the roof of the lodge. In fact, I tried to convince them not to, but they had their minds set on it. They hazed themselves. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, no. You better not let Mr. Foxley find out that there are kids sleeping on the roof. <laughs> in the past, now he's got bigger fish to fry. Yeah, like the fish that hid his instruments in the lake. After lunch, Doug goes to toss the football with the drum line. He invites me to play, but I'm pretty tired. I decide to watch from afar, keeping my gaze trained on Doug. He's actually really good. He never misses a catch, and his throws always go straight to their target. Drum and drummer flee in terror each time Doug comes barreling at them for a tackle. Doug clearly played football in the past, his tiny jersey says it all, but why did he stop? Why be in the band why, why be in the failing band program when you could be part of the beloved football team? Uh before practice I bring I swing by my room to grab my pack. <laughs> oh no. Alex, you look like you're up to no good. I guess I can tell you what I'm planning since you witnessed it for yourself yesterday. What are you talking about? Oh no. Didn't you see Marion run away from me at the end of practice when I brought up our date? She was so embarrassed. She must be super into me. Oh my god, this kid's an idiot. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try talking to her again, but this time I'll be careful not to scare her off. She's shy, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> 
this kid is delusional. Alex, that wasn't. So I thought the perfect way to approach her. <laughs> he whips out his sheet music for the show, ripping it in half in one clean motion. I need to drink some more. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell her I lost my music and I need her to replace it. It's the perfect conversation starter and she won't be able to run away this time. <laughs> Silence. Isn't it a great idea? I kind of want to see what happens though. Yeah, come on! <laughs> I'm stirring the pot right now and I realize that, but I find that I think that would be really funny to see what happens if it ends if I end up seeing it play out or if Marion tells me about it. Alex Alex charges off enthusiastically, eyes brimming with hope. I couldn't bring myself to kill that hope, even if I am sending him off to face a Marion who is more torn up with anger than ever. Oh god, I just sent him to his death. <laughs> That's funny. Hmm. Excuse me. Okay, I mean, it's already getting late. I want to play more, but I have work tomorrow, so I can't. I'll save here. You said cringe, you're cringe. Okay. That is where we will end things for tonight. I have a feeling this will go into the next week, but I don't really don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. I really hope I don't get another bad ending with Doug. Because I'm not interacting with as much of the same characters as before. So we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Okay. That's where I will end things today. Nice sticker, Jeb. <laughs> or emote. And yeah, I'll see you guys maybe probably tomorrow. I feel like I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow. That's the plan. Don't know what we'll be playing though. We'll figure it out when we get there. But yeah, thank you everybody who came out. I'll see you next time. Check out the Twitch like uh, clips, and then also it's my TikTok. It has. The same name, Chinchilli with two Y's. Yeah, good night. <laughs>